uh, the best ha or sorry, the worst hand to the the best hand that you can get, and you're dealt two cards, and then there's hello, 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 hi everyone, Rue, hello, anybody else that may be just chilling in chat, lurking or whatever, hello to you too. I appreciate you all being here. Oh boy, I hope you're excited for a little bit more Odin Sphere. I know I am, man. I am so excited for it. We should be finishing up uh, Cornelius's story today. I believe that's his name, right? Cornelius? Should be finishing that up and uh, going on from there. Why did... That's weird. The chat got cleared for some reason. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know what's funny? When I went to my friend's graduation, you ended up playing Texas Hold'em, Rue? Really? How did you like it, IRL? It was probably a lot more fun than, uh, <laughs> than, than watching it be played on a video game, nonetheless. I personally don't think Texas Hold'em is that fun to watch in general. They do televise it. Like, it is a thing that you can go and watch if you really want to for some reason. But, like... I don't know, man. Not for me. Not for me. The Puka Prince. That's what we're doing. We are... Five hours? Almost five hours into the Puka Prince storyline. Which means that one went a little bit faster than Gwendolyn's. I don't know if it's just a shorter one or if it's because, you know, we're a little more comfortable with the game now. Also, we started the game on hard mode, I guess, too. And then we, we stepped down. So, there's that as well. It was fun and confusing, but you did win a few hands? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. I haven't played Texas Hold'em outside of that video game in a long time. I know my brother and his dad, they still do it. Hey, Valkyrie. Uh, they they get together every once in a while and do, like, Texas Hold'em IRL. But uh, I just, I, I don't have time, sadly. I would like to go and play with them, don't get me wrong, but yeah. Time is an issue. Okay, so if I remember correctly from last time, the problem we had was that we don't have carrots and we don't have a good way of getting carrots so we can't make any healing potions we have the three that we have there and then we have these which i mean each egg on toast is a full heal on its own um and then the praline is also well damn near a full heal the ginger cookie that's a, a decent heal so i mean like we have stuff for heals we just don't have any full heals now looking at that though i noticed that we have chicken and we have a habanero pepper thingy so those two things together, that should let us make spicy chicken, right? So that's one more recipe we can make before we get out. And then we're going to get out. I want to I wanna get into the game. That's why we spent so much time at the end of the last stream doing this shit. Because, yeah, don't really want to do it right now. <laughs> I want to get into it, man. I want to fight some people. I want to I wanna figure out the end of this story. And then uh, check out the next character, which is... Who is it? Oswald? I'm assuming it's Oswald, since Rue was saying how excited they are to see Oswald. Yes, let's fucking go, dude. Alright, let's see. So, where is the spicy chicken? That's not spicy chicken. Uh, that's consomme. That's what we wanted to make. There it is. It's that one, right? Ah, oh, shit. We're out, of, we're out of silver coins, though. Okay. So, we can't actually make the spicy chicken because we're out of silver coins. That's fine. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Oh, Mercedes is next. Oswald is just your favorite one. Okay, okay. Got it. That makes sense. Totally understand, man. Okay. We're not going to mess around with this shit anymore then. Let's just get the hell out of here. I think we ended up buying, if I remember correctly, the, uh, the, the equipment that lets us do like an extra 20% attack damage. I think that's what we have equipped up there. Instead of the, like, 5 or 10 that we were doing before. Oh, 30% actually. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. I, I'm happy with that. I think we should be good to go. So we just got to be careful with our heals a little bit. We'll use magic to heal if we have to. Um, and yeah, that's I guess that's pretty much it. Let's freaking go, dude. On to whatever area. I don't actually remember the name of the area that we're going to, but it should be here. Oh, okay. To, to the capital, where we're at. Okay, we're just going there. Let's go. <laughs> you just have a thing for emo boys, Rue? Yeah, that sounds about right. You and you and uh, Noodle, man. He's close second on your list, Valkyrie. To save Velvet. Right, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. 
あれは父上と宮廷魔術師もう許してくれウルズールお前の言う通りしてきたであろう生贄にえとなった娘たちに懺悔なさいあなたが強情を張ってなかなか秘実の書を渡さぬから私も手下の竜を呼ばねばならなくなったのです秘実の書を返してくれやはりあれだけは二度とガロン王の苦しみはこんなものではありませんぞやめてくれ Yo, wait, what? Did we get betrayed by our, by our dude? Don't ever trust the wise men? Okay. Hey, Hattie, what's up? Welcome back to the stream, man. That's, that's like our guy, right? Or is that a different... The wise men were against you from the very beginning. But, uh, dude, he seemed to be, like, decent and trying to help us there in the beginning. All three of them were against you. Holy shit, dude. So, wait, they want the prophecy to come true? Why? I still don't understand why anyone wants the, the prophecy to come true. Like, why do they want the entire world to be destroyed? What's the point? The entire world being destroyed also means, like, the world you live in, dude. Like, you realize that, right? <laughs> Just for payback against Odin? Seemed like a string of bad luck, truth is, it was rigged from the very start. Mm. All that just for payback against Odin, though, man? I don't know. Like, sure, Odin's shitty and all, but destroying the entire world? It's a very one-sided interpretation of the prophecy, kinda. <laughs> Odin fucks shit up, basically. Yeah, I get that. Well, bye. <laughs> I told you it was me, man. Why didn't you believe me? Didn't even give me a chance. The whole game in a nutshell. Odin the ass. Are you actually gonna fucking tell her who you are this time when you find her? Mr. Cornelius, sir? Because you've had the opportunity, what, like three times now to just tell her the truth, but you refused each and every time? Probably could have avoided some of this trouble if you would have just told her, hey, yo, I was turned into this rabbit-looking dude, so, uh... Like, if that's a problem, totally understand. So, uh, what's happening, Sazadi? Yeah, you're kind of you're kind of seeing the game from the beginning here. Um, like, okay, Valkyrie or Rue can explain it to you much better than I can. That's for sure. Uh, but basically, in the current storyline that we're playing through, because you play through, like, six different character stories, and the one that we're currently playing through, you were a prince of this land... Um, cursed by your love interest's brother to to turn into this this puka here, and uh, while trying to figure out how to to cure himself of this this puka curse, he also discovered uh, some people taking part in a trying to make a prophecy come true that will see the entire world destroyed at the hands of a dragon. Um, that's that's kind of the gist of this character story, but again. There, there's like a whole overarching story too, right? Like this is just a tiny piece of the whole puzzle. But uh, Rue and Valkyrie know much more about this game than I do. So like I guess I either one of them can tell you much more detail than I can. <laughs> All right, so there's not a whole lot of point to picking up the material at this point because uh, I mean, we can't really make anything. Conjures a toxic cloud that curses all who touch it. 
that okay killer cloud sounds pretty cool i mean like we can make some stuff obviously but we can't make healing potions which is you know the, the biggest one <laughs> for us so and the mall berries are pretty much useless we can use those to uh mix into the potions to get to level them up a little bit to level the materials up a little bit or whatever but we can't really make anything with them and they do offer some health experience of course but it's not gonna be uh, enough to really make a difference at, at this late into the the play uh this character story so yeah not sure i'm really gonna worry too much about that hi eyeball i think that's the first time i fought an eyeball <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Um, ow. Uh, <laughs> slime, slime song kind of hurts, man. Um, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can we, can we hurt it while he's like, oh God. No, we can't really. How do we deal with you? Um, Okay, we were, like, able to break it up. Maybe if we, like, hit it to break it up. And then we hit it again. Nope, we can't hit it again while it's down. Uh, hello? I have no idea how the hell we deal with this thing. Also, yes, hi, Noodle. You can't hear, but, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm assuming, like, Napalm or something would work pretty well. Maybe, maybe magic. Maybe it's, like, slimes in Final Fantasy or something. We'll use, uh, we'll try some, some, some cyclone. Nope, that did fuck all to it, too. How the hell did we kill this thing? Because I can't seem to do anything. But all of our attacks are only doing one HP of damage. Uh, spam attacks. And fire, right. I mean, we don't really have fire as an option, though. And see, we can't hurt it when it's down on the ground. Like, when it's in pieces. Napalm works against slime. Do I have any napalm left? Oh, Jesus, fuck. We're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> uh, man, and I was just talking about how we need to save some fucking health. Um, okay, so... Do I have napalm? by any chance i do not i'm sure i have the recipe for napalm though so let's uh let's check that real quick text you get to see the wonderful menu system of this game <laughs> and by wonderful i mean actually kind of terrible tbh man that's the the one thing about this game that really i just do not enjoy is the menu system it is not great <laughs> oh god Every time you want to craft or do anything, you have to uh, use this little wheel here and switch between each bag, like, one by one. It's a giant pain in the ass, man. And there's, like, there is a better menu, but you can't do anything in the better menu except for move stuff around. So it ends up being mostly useless. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that, that does work. Napalm definitely works, but, like, holy hell, dude. To have to craft a potion just to do that, that's kind of, that's a little rough. All right, we're definitely going to do a heal here. Yeah, we got a D. I'm not surprised. <laughs> we totally deserve getting a D with how long it took us to deal with that, that slime. And I hate just sitting around to heal like this, but we just, we don't have enough heals to, to guarantee getting through this entire area. So we, we have to save a couple of them. And unless carrots start popping up out of these city streets, uh, we don't have the ability to make healing potions either. So his character was turned to a furry by his girlfriend's brother, and now he helps other. Yeah, that's that's pretty much... Uh... <laughs> that's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah, actually. How did he end up in hell? The wise men put him there to get rid of him. Oh. See, I didn't actually know who put him there either. So, that's... uh. That's good to know for myself as well. Uh, so we don't have the map yet, so we don't really know which way to go. So we're just going to pick our direction and go, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Hopefully we don't come across any more slime, dude, because holy hell. I mean, at least if we do, we have a couple napalm now, but like, yeah. 
Slimes are a pain in the PS2. They were more balanced in the remake. Good to hear. If I ever end up replaying the game, which seems like I may someday. And if I do, it'll most likely be the, uh, the remake version. Because, yeah. Why wouldn't I want the, uh, the quality of life changes, you know? I'm just glad that, like, the wise men and whatnot don't have, like, a fuck ton of health. I appreciate that. Ow. <laughs> of course, it probably helps that we, we picked up that thing that lets us do 30% more damage. I'm sure that helps a ton. Ah, uh, stop teleporting away, you bastard. Seriously? Dude. <laughs> I'm trying to kill you. You know how hard it is to kill somebody when they keep teleporting all over the damn place? They're after a book that would allow them to create an absolute beast that would destroy everything. How fancy. Okay, well, I guess we can destroy some eyeballs in the meantime while we're trying to deal with this bastard. Oh my lord. Stop teleporting away. It's like a fucking Abra in the uh, the Pokemon games, man. I'm assuming magic or, or something. I'm assuming there's a better way to deal with him too, but I, I don't know what that would be. Oh, good, we're poison. I do like me some poison, man. Poison is fantastic. Thank you for dying, by the way. Appreciate that. Oh, there's still someone alive somewhere. Is it the sword? Does the sword count? Oh, no, there's just a whole other group of enemies. That's fine, actually. I don't mind that. As long as there's not more teleporting bastards, then, like, it's not that big of a deal. Are you... Are you gonna teleport away every time I touch you? You are. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> That's annoying as shit. Why? Why you gotta teleport away constantly? Like, this one doesn't teleport away. I don't... I don't mind this one, you know? The one that lets me hit him every once in a while. Fair warning, teleportation like that is even worse for the final boss in this chapter. That's good. That's... I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> oh... Might as well collect some bosons while we're here, man. Let this dude... We're gonna we're gonna get D's, like, all around, man. It's gonna be terrible. Please tell me that's, that's all of the wizards, at least. How many eyeballs are there? And how did I not see you guys until now? Unless it's another wave that just spawned in. I guess that's a possibility. Can you stop flying away? <laughs> Y'all make it really hard to kill you, don't you? What does the book have to do with them? What does the book have to do with him? <laughs> That's an excellent question, Addy. That Mercedes and Corny boy here fights the dragon? The Valkyrie, I can't remember which one is which. I don't know. <laughs> the brother is also a wizard, so he disguised himself as the protagonist to get the book. It's confusing, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing's confusing, to say the least. <laughs> uh. By the way, uh, the person that they're calling Corny is the person that we're playing as, Cornelius. They just uh, call him Corny for, for short. The book holds a secret power held by the royal family that Cornelius' grandfather used to protect his kingdom before he lost his humanity and attacked his own kingdom. Yeah, what they said. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is what, like a 50, 60 hour game or something like that? Um, maybe, maybe 40 hours is a little more accurate. But anyways, there's, there's a fair bit of story. And since it's split between multiple different characters, all of their, the different character stories overlap in some ways. Um, so you like figure out bits and pieces from playing each different one and whatnot. Like, so it, it can definitely get to be a little confusing. I, uh, I know I've been lost more than once. <laughs> you're lost, yeah. Well, you're not the only one, I promise. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're all, after, uh, after we finish this game, we're just all gonna have to look up lore explaining videos, lore videos on YouTube to, to really understand what's going on here. Like, uh, like what you find for Kingdom Hearts all the time, man. It's explaining all the ins and outs and how the different characters interact with each other and do their thing, like... Five characters and then a series of five final battles. 
Oh, you're you're all uh, decked out, man. You got some like fancy brass armor or something on. Look at you, so fancy. I wish we didn't have a power gauge. Oh, good, you're a teleporting one. That's that's my favorite. <laughs> oh lord, it's gonna be it's gonna take lar longer and be harder to kill the freaking wizard that's teleporting all over the place than the boss of this level most likely, cause teleporting dude sucks. <laughs> yeah, see, boss is dead. Now we gotta slowly, very slowly, take care of teleporting, bro. Oh Jesus. Oh, we recovered from flame. Is that because we touched the ice elemental? So the ice elemental uh, put us, well, tried to freeze us, but balanced out to put out the flame? Like, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming that's how that worked. I could be totally wrong on that. I don't actually know, but that's that's what makes sense to me. So I'm going to I'm gonna say that's what happened. <laughs> there we go. Everybody dead? I think everybody's dead. Nope, there must be someone alive somewhere. Ah, it's a flying boy. Very high in the sky. Uh, I don't even know if I can reach you. I I actually can't. Um, will you come down a little bit, maybe? Holy shit, dude. Why are you so high? Get down here. <laughs> uh, are there any lore explaining videos you and Rue might have to make one? I'm sure someone's had to make one, though. If you guys decide to make one, I mean, by all means, let us know. I will check it out. <laughs> All right, heal up again. While it's doing the the countdown thing, this is our life now. At least for uh for this chapter. If we had the map and knew how far away we were from the the final fight of this area, then I would be a little less hesitant to use my food. But since I don't know if we're going to end up doing, like, you know, two more rooms or t five, six, seven, eight more rooms, like, I'm a little hesitant to, to down all of my, my eggy toast and shit. Ugh. If it helps stream, there is a way to check on how each story connects with Alice and the Attic. Uh, is that in the original, though, or only a remake thing? Because I don't remember seeing a way to access the attic. Um, so are you sure that's not just a remake thing? After we finish up this character, we will we will totally check the attic. Or, or see if we can even get into the attic. If that's an option, but... It is in the original, you just have to hold your cat, Scroat. So Socrates, <laughs> not Scroat. <laughs> Fucking Scroat. If I ever get another cat, man, I'm gonna name it Scroat. <laughs> scroat cat. Anyways, Socrates, that makes that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it out whenever, uh, or you can just open the menu and choose story. That makes sense too. Yep, yep, yep. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I misread it, man. My bad. <laughs> and it made me giggle, so now it's gotta happen. There's just no choice anymore. These uh, these wizard dudes don't give a whole lot of uh, phosons, do they, when they die? Stop with the teleporting! It works both ways. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, after we after we d finish this story, I, I know I need a refresher, and anybody who is uh, joining for the first time today is definitely going to need a little bit of uh, help. So, like, <laughs> so I'm totally down to check out the story section just to get a little bit of a idea of what's going on for everybody, including myself. Like, you remember the map? Wait, is it the same, like, every playthrough? I, I just assumed that it was randomized, honestly. I'm just glad that we don't have, like, a shit ton of lag this time around. Like, we did, uh, like, we did the first, the end of the first, uh, character. It seems to be, like, the lag seems to be kind of area-based. Like, maybe certain enemies were worse for, for lag than others or something. I don't know. It's the same in every playthrough. Okay, okay, okay. 
The lag was horrible. It was. It was so bad, man. But again, it seems like it kind of cleared up once we got away from the, the netherworld area. A uh, bunch of seeds. We can use that for some materials. Hey, and there's our map, actually. Where is gore? No gore in this one. In this game. Uh, oh, shit. The final boss is actually right there, too. So, I guess we didn't really have to worry about saving our healing items so much. Uh, that's fine, though. Do we want to make anything? Do we have any painkiller? I'm going to want some painkiller, so we do have that. Excellent. I'm going to want some heals, of course, but we have that. Uh, unlimited power. I think the unlimited is the only one I want to make, which I don't remember how, but we can look that up real quick. Alchemy. That should be you. Level f two and a habanero, so that's easy, dude. We got all kinds of seeds right fucking here. So we can, we can do that very easily. Let's grab... So we have a level 20. Can we mix that with anything? Level 20 with a level 7. Uh, if we make a level... 7, 8, 9. 9 and 2. No, that's too much. Uh, I was just seeing if there was like a good way to maximize it without spending too much time on it doesn't look like it really so we're just gonna go ahead and take the level 40 i don't care you say fuck it and we go in there blazing yeah i mean that's the plan for the most part so we need 42 so let's grab a couple seeds get it up to 42 make a unlimited power potion so uh the pow gauge by the way hattie since i know you wouldn't know and if anyone else doesn't there's a little pow meter up top and that's like our stamina um, so we can only attack so many times until that, that, that bar, you know, empties out. And then once it empties out, you can't do anything else. You're, you're stunned for a moment. Um, so the unlimited power just gives us unlimited stamina for a period of time. So we have painkiller, we have napalm, we have healing potions, and we have unlimited power. So we are pretty much set on everything. Let's go ahead and eat our ginger cookie to get our heal real quick and then i just noticed that our foes on gauge which is like our magic bar is full too so if that's full then we might as well release some foes ons just to uh cheese out some some levels real quick see we have this magic spell that lets us release the foes ons into the air foes ons are what gives you magic um but every time you absorb a foes on you also gain experience for magic use <laughs> so you can just use this spell reabsorb it and it cheeses out extra experience it's i don't know if the developers realize that whenever they uh whenever they put that in the game but it's a thing that you can do it's here so i'm going to use it let's just go man yeah i don't see anything else that we need to do for this one so let's just go in there and uh kick some fucking ass hopefully i think it was this one if i remember correctly right yep let's go final fucking boss man the sewer maze that's gross <laughs> love me a good sewer maze let me tell you yum <laughs> I'm gonna murder you, just so you know. Wait. So, was Ingwe on our side or not? <laughs> he was working with them, but also got betrayed by them? Is that what happened? What? <laughs> He's not that bad. You learn more about him when you play Mercedes? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, poor guy, lost the ring. Oh, 
ことだ。ぬかりはない。お前たちは双子だったな。私に忠実なしもべドラゴンのベリアルがこの先で生贄にをお前に控えておる卑怯者め人のことは言えまいお前が逆らうならあの娘もここで始末するだが本物の指輪を渡すなら助けてやる We will put you down where you stand if you try to hurt her <laughs> 傷は治ったはずだこれにはニュース、oh. I guess I didn't have to heal before I got in here. That dude just healed us himself. Uh, thanks. You know, if it weren't for you, we probably wouldn't be in this situation, but you know, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> uh, he really does care for Velvet. He's got the spirit, but he's a little confused about it. Yeah. He's what we call a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy again. How many times are we going to fight this dude? This is what, the third time, I think? It might only be the second. I might be mixing it up because I replayed the beginning of the game. And uh, this is the first boss for... What's her name? Gwendolyn. I see that, yeah. He is forced. Well, fuck, dude. Now I kind of feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Palau. That's right. I kind of feel bad now. Holy shit, dude. We're going to murder this guy because, you know. But, like, it's not even his fault. Bruh. <laughs> this just feels shitty all around, man. Holy hell. He even looks sad. That's true. He does, man. Holy shit. This whole game's just sad, man. Okay, well. Guess that is what it is. We're gonna have to kill this poor dude just so he's not being used by the, the evil sorcerer anymore. Also, uh, I'm a dumbass. Let's uh, get away from him for a moment so we can use all of our potions that we made. We want to take some painkiller to help with the pain. <laughs> In case that, you know, whoa, God. Uh, we, we, found, we found the final boss, the dragon. Discovered the dragon is also being used by the wizards. Basically, the wizards are behind everything. They're just shitty ass people. That's uh, <laughs> also the dude who cursed us um, is not as bad as maybe we had thought. Also, why, how did Belial already take damage? I don't even remember hitting him. But we should be good to just, uh, aw, Dizzy, really, man? Okay, we should be good to just kind of beat the shit out of him. And I suspect, oh wait, you know what? That actually reminds me, we need to overload too. That will increase our attack power. Can, can we not be Dizzified? Thank you. Yeah, honestly, this fight should be pretty easy with all the, the potions and spells and whatnot that we've been using. Yeah, I'm on fire. I don't care. This dude's gonna die in no time flat. Ow. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Suck up. Suck up your trash or whatever. Doesn't matter. You're dead. <laughs> and normally, I was gonna say, normally with uh, story bosses, we don't have to beat the other, e uh, other enemies in the map, so we should be good. G fucking G, dude. I me, See, using his fingers to fly. <laughs> just, just like how he had his two hands up the air with his little glowing fingers and shit. Just flying through the air, like. Looked fucking weird, man. Still not dead, though. Poor fucking thing, dude. I feel bad for him. Bite his head off. <laughs> just do it. Just, just, just stretch out your neck. Bite his freaking head off, dude. The dragon's sad because he's being forced to murder people and do evil things by these sorcerers. Yes, thank you. 
Thank you, man. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Fucking kill him. Screw that wizard. <laughs> oh, shit. It doesn't even show us saving Velvet, though. Like... We did all of that, and we didn't even get to, like, actually save Velvet. I'm assuming we did save her, but, like, it didn't show us saving her. We didn't tell her what happened to us. Nothing. What? Bruh. <laughs> Sad, but at least he went to, uh, or went out with a bag. True, true, true. Last wish? Wait, are we are we going away? Are we leaving the kingdom? Hey, we are! You don't have to put aside your feelings for her. Just fucking tell her, you dumbass. I hate him. I hate this guy so much, man. Cornelius just pisses me off. He better be. This next scene that we're about to see, this better be him telling her the truth. Right fucking here. Right now. Just tell her. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, what's kind of racist? Did I miss something? <laughs> Oh, like against the Puka, I'm guessing you're saying? That we can't be a prince because we're Puka. Yeah, okay, okay. Fair, yeah. Thank fuck. <laughs> you're laughing so hard you woke the dog. <laughs> If she chose you, she chose you, dude. Stop being a dumbass. Hey, what's up, Psycho? Looks like you're holding her just fine to me, man. I don't know what the problem is here. You have a home with the Puka, what do you mean? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. Shelter's still kind of nice. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> like, you guys can't just build a home together or something like that? Like, and have your face in a very soft spot, too. Oh, God, Rue. Yeah, you just gotta collect all the Puka coins. Every single one of them, apparently. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. Still makes no sense to me. Seems a little, a little bit impossible. And the cheese continues, but it's so adorable. It is. It is. Yes, we will save. She's grumpy to begin with. You're just dog sitting for your mother and it's way past her bedtime. Oh yeah, I always forget that it's like super late for you, isn't it, Valkyrie? Or at least compared to to, to us. Um, Because like for me, it's only 1748, 548, whatever you want to call it. But it's probably a lot later for you, huh? <laughs> I forget that sometimes. Alright, so you guys are telling me if I pick up the kitty here... Uh, Socrates, not, not Scrote. Uh, <laughs> I can press X to sit with him. And he'll give us a history lesson. Yeah, there we go. 4.49 p.m. USCT, which for me would translate to... To, uh, Eastern time.
is uh yes CST. Okay, so it's not that late for Psycho. For like compared to me, Psycho, you're like what an hour off of me. Yeah, you're an hour off of me. Um, for Valkyrie though, it's midnight. Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> uh. I mean, yeah, midnight's not, like, super late for me either, but still, like, that's, uh, midnight Jesus. Uh, Cornelius, wait, do we, like, click on him? Oh, we can actually, like, watch the scenes and everything? Cornelius awakens to find himself transformed. So, wait a second, are these, like, I'm so confused on how, this is, like, a whole timeline from beginning to end? Holy hell, dude, this is... I don't know if this is more or less confusing. <laughs> uh, okay, so each line, I'm guessing, is a character's story, right? Each of these gray lines. Um, and then... Uh, oh, God. And then as we go down, that's chronological time. And then at some point, they, they converge, like, down here or something? This is this is too too confusing for me. <laughs> there's, there's no way, man. Okay, so this is Cornelius's stuff. Um, Velvet reads a letter written by Cornelius. Yeah, man. Like I would love to explain and show the lore to to y'all that haven't caught up to like seen all the streams or whatever or haven't played the game before. But I honestly don't think this is gonna be any help. Just because we would end up spending like hours in here going through all of all of what's here <laughs> i'm supposed to be reading i know but like i don't know if this look how much there is man holy shit <laughs> like, i just i don't what the hell is that exactly hattie exactly like we could read this but i don't know how much it's actually gonna help it's just all over the place this is wow okay cornelius prince of titania scolded by his father for holding trysts with a princess living in the forest that's valentine that right that va va whatever her name is Cornelius awakens to find himself transformed into a beast. A voice calls out to him from the darkness. Velvet reads a letter written by Cornelius. No matter how far apart they are, their love cannot be separated. In a twist of fate, Cornelius encounters a specter with a candle. It requests to accompany him to seek the Queen of the Dead. Upon finally reaching the Queen's Shrine, they request permission to leave the, the Netherworld. As he leaves the Netherworld, Odette warns for the of the fate cast upon cursed beings. Cornelius is quickly captured by the Acer. He requests an audience with a demon lord, that's Odin, to explain his predicament. The demon lord's daughter returns the crystal sword. Her kindness strikes a chord in Cornelius's lonely heart. The demon lord's daughter is the first character that we played Gwendolyn. Is any of this making sense? You give up? Yeah, that's probably fair. <laughs> because I don't know if this is actually going to help. I think you would have to watch like a whole lore explainer on YouTube or something like that. Or just play slash watch the game from the beginning. Like, I don't, I don't think there's any other way to do it, man. The prince proceeds to acquire the general's horn. Cornelius prepares to battle the ferocious warrior Brigand, who's a total dick. Odin approves of Cornelius' skill and grants him passage to Titania, but why does everyone refer to him as a puka? Because he's a puka. Like, what do you mean, man? And then this is where the, the first character's story starts, but that's also where we continue with, with this character. You see what I mean? Like, yeah. I think, uh, I think we're better off just continuing on <laughs> to the next character. Because holy hell, man. There's too much. How many characters did you guys say there ends up being? Because on that thing, it made it look like there was only, what, four or five? So is there is there more than that, or is there only four or five characters? Five? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. For some reason, I, I always think there's like six or something like that. But read Fairyland, which is Mercedes, everyone keeps telling me. Which is uh, a fairy that we fought... Uh, if I remember correctly, with the first character, Gwendolyn, we, we had to deal with her. In a forest far, far away, fairies lived under the protection of a queen resembling flowers like a fleeting fantasy. Close as corny? As Gwen, you fought her mom. Oh, okay, okay. Close enough. <laughs> Fodder with corny. Too. 
様また私の弓を持ち出して今度はどこに行こう Yeah, I remember her mom now. Yeah, I remember this. そうね。小さな妖精を食べる She's a fucking little shit. あの輩を退治するのは重要だ。<笑>でもそれは兵たちに任せておきなさい。私はもっと弓の腕を上げて、お母様と戦争をかけないのです。Okay, okay, okay. あなたを魔王との戦いになど連れて行けはしません。Said, I thought we did, but I couldn't remember for sure. Gosh dang it. <laughs> you mean the, the bot playing fight? I told you, it's not normally as easy as what you, uh, what you experienced the first few times you fought the bot up there in Tic-Tac-Toe. I don't know what the bot was doing all them times, man, but it just played like a dumbass. <laughs> Bozons are our source of life as fairies. Interesting. Okay. この森以外では気迫です。魔王はどうして私たちの宝を狙うの？我らの宝コルドロン。Again, Odin is a dick. <laughs> That's kind of where this all comes from. Speaking of Odin, though, man, that makes me want to play God of War. I never finished the God of War like reboot, and I really want to. After I finish playing uh, through Final Fantasy VII, I think that's the next game I'm going to play. Like, uh... Outside of the whole PS2 stuff, like on my own time or whatever, I feel like I feel like it's gonna end up being God of War, God of War remake. Small spoiler: Don't trust Melvin. Okay. That isn't a spo spoiler; just a fair warning. I don't trust any of these people. They have that whole uh, holier than thou sort of thing going on that just rubs me the wrong way. So yeah, I don't really, I don't really trust either of them to be honest. <laughs> Your least favorite character, you hate him. Holy hell! Okay. Ooh. Okay. So she shoots stuff, and she can charge up attacks as well. So, and instead of power, we have ammo. Does the ammo naturally refill over time? It does not. That's a problem. Okay, we can fly. Um, press square to shoot. Okay. We did that. Ammo is used to fire, and you cannot fire when ammo has been depleted. Yeah. Got that. When reload is played, press square to refill ammo. You must be standing to reload. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. So it's not that much different than the other ones, just, yeah. Interesting that we can already collect, like, food and stuff. <laughs> Going frog hunting, dude. Ah, oh, we can... <laughs> Oh, collecting Fozons does refill ammo too, though. Okay. But I just, I like how we can go into, uh, like, machine gun mode there. That's nice. Press and hold square for a powerful... Oh, it's a homing attack. It's not just like a... It's not just a, uh, like a shotgun blast. It's also homing. Interesting. Piercing attack that also follows the ground. Okay. Okay. Kind of interesting. I could get into it, I think. And then, oh, but if we get if we get hit when we're trying to do a tr a homing attack, it uh it uh it cancels. Like we have to we have to re redo it. Wait, can we not? Okay, yeah, it seems like we can't absorb Fozons unless we're standing. Nor can we refill. So good to know. Good to know. Also, she's like already hurt. This first, this first uh, fight's gonna be the death of me, ain't it? 
Mercy sucks in the PS2 version, really? How is she uh how is she different in the PS uh 4 version? If you don't mind me asking. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Absorb some Fozons, please. I also noticed that her Fozon gauge or cipher gauge or whatever is a different color than the others. So does that mean that her abilities are just linked to Oh, hers are like linked to the gun in a way. Interesting. Okay. PS4 ver version just improves a lot, including Mercedes. Yeah. She's your least favorite to play, really? I kind of like the mechanics that she's got going on. It's a lot different than the other ones, but... History of Ringford. Until a relatively short time ago, the fairies and unicorns were not a united country, but instead existed a small tribe spread through the forests. Uh, there's unicorns? They're so fluffy, I'm gonna die? Uh, <laughs> shortly after the fairy queen, Elferia, gained control of the cauldron, the country of Ringford showed accelerated growth and established themselves as a military power. Ringford is now considered to be equal to the other two great nations of Arion, Ragnanval and <laughs> in the north, and Titania in the east. Okay. Okay. She got a huge buff, is faster, so many great uh, abilities, and the reloading is better. So she just got better in every way, basically. Got it. That makes that makes sense, yeah. I see why you would like her more in the other versions, <laughs> if that's the case. In the PS4 version, I mean. Uh, pick up the healing tonic. Do we start just the two bags like usual? Okay, that's that's fair. Uh, I gotta remember, we're, we're early levels now, so it's worth it to grow things like mulberries and whatnot. Things that I might normally ignore a little bit. She is interesting to play. It's just her attitude you don't like, Rue. Got it. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> like you said, she's a little shit. Got it. <laughs> Brat. <laughs> she seems to be just a little, like, naive. Like, she doesn't really understand the world and... And, uh... Like, uh, like her mom said, her status and all that shit. Like... She's, she seems like a like a guarded child that doesn't like know really know the world or understand the world she lives in. Maybe a little spoiled a bit because of that. You don't understand the world either? Uh, you know what? Honestly, fair. <laughs> I don't understand why people do the shit they do. So, you know what? I'm, I'm right there with you. Bro, that's a big ass weapon, dude. <laughs> Observe this blue orb. <laughs> Wait, is he just like. Why is Odin such an ass, man? Like, what does he do? Is he, like, sucking all the Fozons out of everything? Just, like, living or dead? What is he... What are you doing, Odin? Calm the fuck down. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fuck. It's an interesting area. <laughs> He's a power-hungry asshole who's preparing for the end of the world. But in doing so, he's also helping to create the end of the world, it seems. So, I mean, like, maybe if you just fucking chill, you wouldn't have to deal with that. I, I don't know, man. Time to stretch? Yes. Yes, you definitely can. Everybody stand up, stretch out, crack your back, do what you gotta do. I know I'll be cracking my back, because hell fucking yeah. Oh, Stretch out my arms, my legs. Oh. 
the magical kettle, the cauldron. Okay. Crack my fingers and everything too. Get it all loosened up, man. Hell yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Just how young is Mercedes? Because she does look like a young person, like like very young, you know? But of course, they kind of seem to be based off of elves, and elves kind of age differently than, than everything else, too. So, like... It's also very interesting how they die. Just watch. Watching. <laughs> She's fairy age. Nobody really knows. <laughs> okay, so she turned on, it's turned into Fozons, which makes sense. Because everything seems to turn into Fozons when they die. Wait, is that is that what I was supposed to see? <laughs> everything I murder with my weapon turns into Fozons, man. I don't know. It didn't seem that much different. She died very gracefully, though, I guess. You know, like... <laughs> a death befitting of a queen? Question mark? I don't know. But for fairies, they don't leave a body behind. Okay, I get it. I get it. I guess, like, it's implied that the other characters do. We just don't see that because, you know, they disappear for gameplay reasons. That's me. Uh, you're queen now. Make up your mind. Oh, that name's from Norse mythology. Okay, that's cool. Did not know that. I don't know my uh, Norse mythology that well. I, uh... I, I watched Marvel movies, and I, uh... <laughs> and I played, like, half of the God of War remake. <laughs> also, yes, hi, Oswald. Oswald is the husband of the first character that we played, Gwendolyn, for anyone who doesn't know. I can't help but notice his weapon is also red instead of the blue, like, uh, Gwendolyn and Cornelius's were. I mean, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm right here, you know. Oh, hi. You guys are like intelligent beings. You're a unicorn? I didn't realize those were unicorns that we were fighting, man. Uh, Noodle would be pissed if she knew. <laughs> Uh, it's a long winter that lasts for several years and marks the start of Ragnarok. Oh, and that's why she was saying the whole thing with like, uh, this, this terrible winter shall end with me or whatever. Got it. That, that all plays out. So the dwarves come from this land, but some of them got into a fight, escaped. And join the Demon Lord, and that's how the Demon Lord now is able to make cipher weapons and shit. Okay, okay, good lore, good lore. Uh, I probably started with like next to no money. Yeah, literally no money actually. So, <laughs> uh, don't think I'm gonna be buying much from you, but thanks for the offer, man. Brom is the most important of them all. Remember that? I will try. The red ciphers are artificial, made from the cauldron. Okay. And the blue ones are made from the crystals in the netherworld. Okay, so they shows like an origin sort of deal. Got it. I also just realized that like our mouse pointer changed to whatever our weapon is. That's kind of kind of neat. <laughs> it also shoots the area that we're going to. Yeah, that makes sense. Why not? Why not?
メルセデス様は母上を亡くされてまだ日も浅いお休みになられてはいかがでしょうメルピン I feel like Melvin just wants us to go on vacation so he can grab hold of more power while we're gone. メルセデス様が出られては皆が混乱します。陛下が足でまといたと申すのか。めそうもないことです。メルビン様、武器子の司が教えられたと思います。Yeah. すぐに会おう。I feel like this, this quote unquote vacation is either his way of setting up a trap for us or, like I said, just trying to seize power while we're gone for himself. That's not exactly what your mother was trying to say. <laughs> I think she was. <laughs> Uh, we shouldn't trust the sorcerers, though. We kind of figured that out last time. Beldor, huh? Yeah. About that. <laughs> I wish I could just like speak into the screen and tell her, like, don't fucking trust them, dude. None of them. I mean, like, the dwarf, I think, is legitimately trying to help. I think. I could be wrong. Maybe everyone's against this fucking. Mini queen, but uh, I, I think the dwarf is trying to help, his heart's in the right place, he just doesn't know the larger picture like we do, which is like you know, fair because no single character seems to know everything that we do as the player, as you might expect. It would, wouldn't make much sense if that weren't the case. It's gonna take a moment to get used to fighting with, with her, um, because she just she fights so differently than the other ones. But anyways, uh, Twitch is going to make me run an ad in just a few minutes. So for that reason, guys, we are going to take a short break. Just give us all a chance to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do whatever we need to do. I know that's what I'll be doing. I suggest you all do the same. And we will be back in just a few minutes to continue with Odin Sphere. Fever laid out on the floor. So that's, uh, yeah. Three thousand one hundred and twenty-six go to Ruman. <laughs> wow, dude, I didn't know you bet that much. I thought that was Nate that bet that much. Holy shit, y'all are insane. <laughs> All right, let's start the next one though. Same thing. Submission period. You got you got one minute to get your bets in. Will I win? Will I win? The Hand. Start prediction. Go ahead, get him in. You promised me a surprise, and here I am surprised. Uh, my surprise to you was collared greens. You just didn't like them for some reason. <laughs> and I got you chocolate. I mean, you ended up asking for it, but that's probably what I was going to get you anyways. He did, but because he was wrong, you want to... Oh, is that the way it works? I thought it was just like double your bet or whatever. Dope. Okay. Okay. What are you guys guessing? Are we going to win the hand? We got a five and a nine. And then on the board, there's an eight, six, and ace. Ooh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think we're going to win this one. I'm not going to lie, guys. Yep, there they are. They're pouring in. All right. Well, uh we'll call. We'll always we'll always uh we'll always check on the first one, man. We're just just to get in, you know. It's not real money, so what do I care? All right. So, okay. Okay. So, we have 4 5 6 This is miserable. 4 5 6 That's it though. That's all we got. If there was a 7 then we'd be okay. 
Uh, let me see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, I mean, it's 80 bucks. What do you say? Do we go for it? Do we put in the last 80 bucks? Isn't there two fours? No. No, no, no. That was the last round. <laughs> every every game, there's a there's a new hand and uh, new cards on the table. Ow. Screw it. We're calling the 80. I say, it's not our money. What do we care? Okay. So that's that's not great. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fold, man. There's no way. I mean we only have 180 bucks left, so like yeah. Okay. I'm back. Welcome back. Huh. Ready to get started again. And while I'm thinking about it, guys, don't forget that in the Discord today, probably after the stream, so so be uh later tonight. Uh, I plan on releasing a little bit of a teaser for the next uh, episode of my tips that should be coming out tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, any suggestions or ideas for more episodes of that, please do let me know. I am taking them into consideration. I have a long list of ones that I want to make, so I'm not like, uh, like short on, on content possibilities or anything like that. Um, but I still love to hear your guys' suggestions, what everybody else wants to see. How many... Are there any Fozons floating around? There probably are, right? I didn't know if there was enough to grow Mulberries. There... Mm, there may have been. Mulberries in this game... Or, I'm sorry. Seeds in this game also require Fozons, the same magical power that we absorb in order to grow. Uh, like, it's basically all life you could, you could imagine... Um, requires Fozons to to grow and to thrive. Is kind of how it kind of how it works here. Um, I need to I need to remember that there is a limited range on the gun, and there is knockback, so we can't just shoot infinitely. We do have to stop shooting every once in a while to actually like be able to to hit these people. Uh, speaking of Fozons, though, there seem to be a fair few rolling around so we can probably grow a mulberry at least ah uh, god i wish it didn't take so long to reload <laughs> you're also poisoned as shit um that's that's fine there's our mulberries collect those we will eat them right up we have level two poison holy hell uh well fuck me dude that's all right it's fine Collect the money, a material, very nice, maybe, pick it up. A map, I do like knowing where I'm going. Maps are very handy to have. Uh, mulberry seed, and then, is this money? I'm guessing it is, yeah. Okay, let's eat a mulberry real quick. That'll probably get us up a level just instantly, yes. And leveling up also increases our, uh, or fills our health, gives gets us up to max, so that's, that's nice, very handy. I should have checked the map before I came over here. Also, can we make a antidote? Is it onion? Yes. Okay, cool. Because this level 2 poison is doing a lot of damage, honestly. Let's grow another mulberry seed too while we're here. And maybe drink that, that antidote that I just made. Because that, you know, we made it for a reason. <laughs> no, God, we're going to instantly be poisoned again because of these, these fucking things. I mean, we could probably, like, jump to get away from them easily enough. But we have to land to reload anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. Reload. Quickly, please, and thank you. <laughs> I do like that her attacks seem to pierce, though. Like, they seem to go through people and continue on to, like, the next one. That makes it easier to deal with groups. And we're poisoned again. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Love, I love me some poison, man. Holy hell, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay, drink the... Drink an antidote. And then, quickly, can we eat and do stuff? Oh, we're poisoned again. Fuck. No, we can't use items in the air either. We can't do anything in the air. Okay, eat another mulberry. I don't know if that'll be enough to level us up. No, but it, it did give us quite a bit of health, though. Oh, God. We're so fucked. Tell my lord she okay i think it's just because we're not used to playing as her yet but we are definitely struggling man this is off to a great start yeah right like 
It's going real well, man. She is so slow. Yeah, you're not kidding. Okay, reload. And then, oh god, get a get away. If we eat another mall berry, we should level up, which will there we go. Give us a refill on our health. And then we could jump maybe, like fly for a moment. And maybe get rid of one or two of them with that. Do we have any more seeds while I'm while I'm here? Because there's a lot of Fozons floating around. No. But we can maybe absorb a couple. I want to absorb as many as possible so that we get levels. But it's like, man, it takes so long for her to do anything. I wish kind of that her, her attack didn't have so much knockback on it. Just because then we can't really just like unload on people. We got to keep uh, getting closer to them. But I mean, it's fair. They had to they had to balance it somehow, right? Can't really blame them for doing it the way they did. Ooh, what is that? A fish fillet? Really? Okay. I mean, yeah. I'll gladly take some fish fillet, dude. What do we get? Nothing good. A material and a mulberry seed. Meh. Uh, but we will take the mulberries. Money? Yes, please. Uh, I forgot to pick up the mulberries or, or to knock them off the plant. So whenever you grow plants in this game, if you don't pick them up quickly enough, they will go overripe. Um, you can still consume them and they're, they're decent for potions, but they have like less effects than they would otherwise, essentially. So generally speaking, you want to try and pick them up quickly. Uh, okay, so we got... Where do we come from? So we got those ones. Yeah, we already collected those ones. We got that one. Ooh, what is B? B is Blizzard, which we don't really need the Blizzard. I think we'll be fine without that. I don't know what Q is off the top of my head, though, so I think we'll pick that up. And I want to get all the scrolls that I can, because those unlock recipes and alchemy and shit. So we are going to go fight whatever this boss is over here. But I honestly, though, too, I think she'll be more effective against bosses than she is against normal enemies. Because bosses, I imagine, won't be affected by the knockback in the same way that the regular enemies are. Q is amazing. So, yeah, so probably something that we want to that we want to try and collect. Ow. <laughs> uh, also, can we not jump over you? Uh, excuse me. Game. Also, we're poisoned. Excellent. I, I do love some poison. Let's, uh... Oh, gotta drop down. Gotta remember, we have to be on the ground to do anything, essentially. And we're out of antidote, aren't we? Do we have any onions? We do. Thank goodness. Oh, nope. That's an onion that's in front of us. We don't have it. But if I can... Ah, oh, fuck. Now we're dizzy. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my lord. We're poisoned at level two. We're dizzy. I can't... Okay. Thank goodness we got over that thing, finally. I just want to pick up the onion. Please, game. <laughs> Let me get the onion. <laughs> God. I take it back. I don't want to fight the boss anymore. Go down. Stop flying. <laughs> Why didn't you pick it up? Pick it up. <laughs> oh, lord. We are... We are not doing well, man. Okay. Onion. Antidote. Please and thank you. Also, carrots are nice. And uh, maybe we have a mulberry seed, right? Yeah, maybe grow that because we are definitely going to need it. All right. Um, holy cow. Drink the antidote before we die. Please and thank you. And do we have any other food? We have that fish filet. What's that do? Uh, it's just for cooking. Okay. It's not good to eat on its own. Fair enough. Okay. Can we maybe kill some frogs, please? <laughs> no, don't. Don't get hit by... It's a fucking frog. How are you getting your ass kicked by a frog, lady? <laughs> oh, God. We're poisoned again. I hate everything. This is this is going well, guys. This is going very, very well. <laughs> oh, God. Stop summoning enemies. I can't deal with them. Oh, God. Reload. Nope. We're going to get hit. 
Okay, well, it didn't do damage, but we're dizzied, which is just as bad, honestly. Okay. Fly and maybe maybe just shoot. Just just shoot some some shit. Maybe <laughs> maybe we can kill him, please. Please die. Can I pick up my mall berries, please? Please, game, I just want to pick up my shit. Okay, I don't I like the the shooting mechanic. I like that. Oh, Lord Almighty. I do not like the ammo mechanic though I would much rather just have fucking God. no okay we're dead that's you know what fair honestly <laughs> holy shit it's gonna take some getting used to with her for sure like it is much harder than I expected with her all right uh do we have a mulberry seed we do so let's just go ahead and grow that what else do we have Let's, let's prepare ourselves. We have a Mulberry. We do have some healing potion. The only reason I didn't want to use a healing potion is because it's like, it heals 200 and we have a max of what, like 60 right now? Like it seems kinda, it seems kinda ridiculous to, to be doing that. All right, we might as well fly and then just do, okay, the homing shot didn't hit him. So that's, that's good. I do like wasting. How can the frogs jump as high as I can fly? <laughs> These are some, some super fucking frogs, dude. Also, my homing attack didn't do shit. Oh, God. Welcome to Poison Town. My, my goal this time is just, just to try and focus on the boss a little bit more. So that maybe we can... Uh, Oh, that's right. We don't have any antidote. We needed to pick up an onion. Okay. God, just, yeah, take your time. Take your time. Take his... We're dizzy. Don't trust the frogs in this game. I, yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> Please actually hit him this time. Why did that use so much ammo? Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, reload. Thank you. None of my mulberries grew yet, did they? No, they haven't. There is one frog you can trust. I will take your word for it. Okay, so we can we can charge and move at least. That's good to know. So we can like run away, charge up, and then come back for uh for the attacks. That's that's actually really good info. Uh. uh yep, we're dizzy. That's that's what's going on right now. Okay, everyone's dead. Holy hell, dude. We this is not gonna go well. <laughs> oh lord. Alright. I don't see the point in doing an antidote right now because our poison's about to run out. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna take the damage and then try and level up and heal or whatever. Alchemy mix D. What is what does D give us? Drain. Drains phosons from all living things in the area interesting so you don't necessarily have to kill things to get phosons from them when you use that that could be handy use a lot of alchemy with her napalm tp and whatnot yeah I, definitely the painkiller i think would be useful what is t i don't know if i know the t one yet that's a full heal give us a little bit more more on the health side we definitely need to pick up some ingredients. I'm still very iffy about making or using health potions, I should say. But uh, some antidote would definitely come in handy. Which, thankfully, these guys give us the onions. Alright. Is that, is that everything? I think that's just about everything. Oh, nope. There's another one. Hey! Onion boy. Where do we want to go? Blizzard, I don't really care about. That's a Rosimile, but that's whatever. I think I'm just going to go to the shop, grab the queue, and then go up here to the boss. I'm not even going to worry about getting that thing. Because, um, like, it just... Yeah, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use something that gives me attack power or something anyways. So, why, why take more damage, essentially? If we end up getting to the point to where we need to grind because we skip too many areas... Um, we can always just come back and do more, like, 
Oh, tea is like napalm, but for poison. Okay, I think... I don't know if I have the recipe for it, but I think... Uh, I think we've gotten it before toxin, I'm pretty sure. We might even have the recipe. I might just be forgetting it. That's that's a very real possibility as well. Uh, before I forget and we end up like being in the middle of battle and needing it, let's hurry up and make a antidote or two. We'll just make one for now. But we have we have plenty of stuff to make more later. Okay. Talk to talk to the shopkeep dude. Hello. Yeah, stop gawking, dude. Why not take a look? I would love to. What do you have? Anything that I care about? I think it's the Saturn Bangle that increases attack power. Do we have enough without spending money that I care about? We do. We have titanium gold. That's that's all we need. I will take one attack power increasing bangle, please, and thank you, sir. And uh, that is all I really want from you. Fix up our inventory a little bit. Put potions down here with potions. Um, the bangle too, I guess. And that's it for now. Which way were we going? Q, this way. So you say Q is very good for the late game getting stuff to grow. Um, the only problem is, is am I going to have enough inventory space to keep a hold of it until the late game? <laughs> That's that's where I see a problem, a uh, potential problem there, man. Also, we might as well try some of our fancy stuff here, like piercing shot. Oh, that's a big one! <laughs> Holy hell, dude! That did a ton of damage too. That like murdered everybody. Okay, so make sure to use magic with her. Got it. Magic is good. I mean, she's like a fairy equivalent or whatever i guess it makes sense that you know or fairy equivalent i meant like elf equivalent so i guess it would make a lot of sense for for magic to be really good with her since you know in most most games and things elves are like the magic people hey that was okay that went okay at least hey a butterfly too hell yeah I will gladly suck all of the life out of you, butterfly bro. Uh, get my mulberries. Take that, and I will take that, please and thank you. We get mulberry seed, a coin, and quick grow. All plants in the area grow quickly. So is that just like automatic? Like we don't need to feed them phosons to grow, or do they still require phosons to, to do the growth? I don't quite understand exactly how they work. Um, ah, fuck it. Drink the antidote. I was going to put it off, but we have a lot of level zero material, and onions seem very abundant here, so we'll just make a second one for, for later. Requires no phosons? Yeah, that seems really good, man. Get a bunch of the uh, naples or something like that, and then just throw those throw on the, the quick grow potion and, and be done with it. That sounds really good, honestly. I'll try to keep a hold of it until a point where, you know, it really makes sense to use it, but because of uh, inventory space constraints, you know, there's always the possibility we'll end up having to waste it a little bit early. I guess we'll see what happens with it. Exactly like that, yeah. Might as well, uh, okay, so we know that the magic ability with her is really good. Is it also good against bosses? Uh, okay, I mean, it did a fair amount of damage. I was honestly hoping that, like, it would get a couple hits on them. Since, like, the bosses are so large, I was hoping maybe it would, you know, like, hit their hitbox a couple times or something like that. Little upset that it didn't, but, I mean, hey, they had to balance it somehow. Fair, honestly. And it seems to do more damage than an entire uh, charged up, whatchamacallit, attack. Homing attack, so still very, very good. Do we have any more seeds? We do. Mulberry. Grow all the mulberries right now.
early game, mall berries are really good, so I will gladly take them. Please and thank you. Hot cross bun, also nice. Muggle, muggle is the next step after mall berry as far as decent things go. Uh, I guess we'll just start eating some mall berries. We don't really need the health, but we might as well get the experience from them. I'm pretty sure there's one or two recipes that use mulberry too, but uh, I imagine like the other characters, we don't really have the ability to cook until like halfway or more through the game. So screw it, I'm just going to eat stuff. <laughs> eat stuff and get the experience, please. Not the fish fillet though. Fish fillet will either end up using in a potion or, or something. Because I don't know if we'll be able to hold on to it long enough to get to the end. I would like to get a hold of a couple extra carrots, if possible. Um, while we're here in the forest. Because this seems like one of the, the better places to get them at. And they definitely come in handy, both for consomme, which is like one of the best recipes in the game. And then uh, also healing potions. Nope. No, no, no carrots. Okay. Fine. Is what it is. Does she unlock another ability yet? She has not. Blame. I was kind of hoping she would by now. Because the piercing shot's pretty cool. I'd like to see what other magical abilities she ends up getting later on. You can use onions for napalm, by the way. That's very true. It's like, what, like level 2 and onion or something like that? So probably worth mixing up a couple of those. Hi, Froggy. I'm assuming that's the frog that we can trust. Me, Froggy. <laughs> you stupid frog. <laughs> Getting into a fight with a frog. Like, holy shit. Hey, Silence, what's up, man? No worries. You're not late, you're just on time. Whenever you have time and can be here, that is a perfect time to join, man. Like, I just appreciate you stopping in and saying hello. I, I can't actually promise that. Like, Like, the frogs are kind of assholes. There's a good chance I will, uh... <laughs> I will be killing more. Wait, fairies can grant wishes? Why don't you just wish for the entire world to be okay then, or whatever? <laughs> what a greedy frog. I mean, is he really a greedy frog? Or are you just, like, you know... An asshole for making him search for it for you. When you're the one that dropped it. He's a very helpful frog. You seem to be enamored with this frog. Is the, the frog is secretly a prince? <laughs> dum dum fairy queen, yeah. Oh, also, welcome back, Belial. Like, <laughs> so happy to see you again. Actually, yes, but I won't tell you which one. <laughs> we, just, we just leave the frog facing a dragon. Like, holy hell, dude. <laughs> oh. She can't really grant wishes like a genie, but she has power as a queen. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't think of it like that. When when she said wish, I automatically went, you know, genie style. Like, can I use magic in the air? No, I can't. Okay. Poor Belial. Oh, shit. That did like no damage to him, did it? Uh, ah. <laughs> I don't like being sucked in. I can't move. Oh, God. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad that our Dizzy was recovered by the time we got out of Belial's mouth because we would be screwed otherwise. I think we need to eat some food. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked, dude. She is a hard character to use. Uh, for sure. Die, Belial. Or, like, don't die. I mean, I guess die. Fuck, we were swallowed again. <laughs> Let me out. I taste like shit. Eat the frogs, man. You can have some delicious frog legs. Why do you want to eat little fairy girl? Oh, God. Get away, get away, get away. Yeah, fuck with the reload. Okay. You know what? Hopefully the piercing shot reaches him. It's pretty far away. It did. Excellent. I have no idea if that actually did any damage. We're gonna be swallowed again. We're dead. That's it. We're dead. Fuck! <laughs> God, man. Monsters have arrived. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no. Wow. This is... This is rough, man. No joke. We might, we might end up having to do some grinding. Uh, what do we have, like, item-wise? Do we have anything handy? We have healing tonic, quick grow. We do have a mulberry and some food. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate that. I'm guessing that means you're on your break. Uh, so I hope your day is not going too, too, too bad. I hope you can hear me as I'm saying this to you. Like, <laughs> uh... Uh, piercing shot. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Can we, like, break that shit? Kind of. I don't know. Oh, God. Run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> I can't tell if the, uh, if the whatchamacallit, the homing attack actually does any more damage or not. Like, if it's worth it to do if we can just safely get close and fire like hell on him no oh, shit we're out of we're out of ammo no don't eat me mr belial sir i'm sorry fucking frogs everywhere ow anyways how how is work going for you noodle is it going okay? Is he sucking us in right now, or is it just the game being slow? I can't tell. I think it's just lag. Okay, now he's trying to suck us in. Yep, we're... Fuck! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so we, we need to heal. We need to, we need to run away and heal is what we need to do. Stop being dizzy and run away, lady. Uh, Belial, what are you doing? Stop, stop chasing me, please, sir. I just want to eat some food. I am hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry IRL. I did eat pizza today, but like, I don't know, man. Uh, fuck. Stop. <laughs> Stop dropping shit on my head, Belial. This isn't nice. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to be eating again. God, there's so much lag. Jump, lady. Jump. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going so badly. He's about to spit up a, a ball with me. No, okay. Thought he was gonna spit out a hairball or something. God. Why does Belial summon garbage? Is it. Oh, fuck. Please don't die. That was close. No, dude, don't get hit by the frog. Holy shit, that was really close. Okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Eat the hot cross bun. Oh, God. <laughs> If that piece of garbage would have hit us, we would have been dead. They do five damage. We had four health. The lag is real. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to be eating. Don't fly the other direction. I was holding right. Fuck, dude. Oh, God. What's the painkiller recipe? That's like, what, habaneros or something? We need... We need something to get more damage resistance. 
This fight is a mess. You're not kidding. It's old armor. That makes sense. See, to me, it just looked like a lot of random pieces of garbage. <laughs> not gonna lie. I thought I thought that's what it was. Now you know our suffering stream? Yeah, I, I feel your suffering, man. Uh, oh, we're not out of ammo. I thought we were out of ammo. Is he, is he sucking us in now? Is he summoning garbage? He's summoning garbage. Okay. So we'll just, we'll just try to avoid it for a moment. I don't know. I think he's summoning more garbage. Let's get a reload in. Try to get a reload in. If we would stop getting hit by garbage. Okay. Oh, it did reload. Oh God. Oh God. We're fucked. We're going to be eaten. Come on. Fucking don't do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> I, I want, I want the, the Fozons, please. I need, I need the ammo. I need the everything. Uh, run away. Okay. Eat a mulberry. I'm going to try and stay at full health because it, with as much as we've died, we're, we're going to need all the help we can get. Obviously, please don't randomly decide to eat me, sir. Uh, you might as well get a couple more shots. Uh, is he eating us? I don't know what he's doing. Reload. Quickly, quickly reload. Okay. Fucking run. Run away. Why aren't the frogs being sucked up? <laughs> Maybe throw the frogs as a diversion. <laughs> I don't think that's an option. I wish it was. Stop summoning garbage. Nobody cares about your garbage, Belial. Oh, we're out of, we're out of ammo. Oh, and he's he's about to eat us. Yep. Fuck. And we got hit with so much garbage that we're dead. Seriously? Oh my god, we got so close that time. Okay, fuck Mercedes, man. Is there a way to just skip her <laughs> storyline? Can we just go straight to the next one? Oh, fuck me, man. Okay. Um I don't know what else to do. You wish? <laughs> we would have suffered less. Oh. The piercing shot does decent damage, but like, we don't have that many uses of it. Oh, and we're dizzy, so we can't do anything right now. Who's a good boy, Bilal? Who's a good boy? <laughs> now fetch the frog. Oh, God. I don't remember being eaten as the other characters facing Belial, man. Just putting that out there. I think Belial just has a thing for eating fairy girls. Uh, what am I doing? I need to reload. Hopefully once I get a little more used to fighting with her, it won't be as bad, but like, it was always a possibility actually. So I've just been lucky so far and not getting eaten is what you're saying. Ow, ow, ow. Yes, eat your eat your garbage. Leave the leave the little fairy girl alone, man. Fairy girl did not consent to being eaten by a scary dragon. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot to reload. <laughs> I hate him so much right now. Ow! Stop it! I think we're I think we're safe. I think we're far enough away that yeah, he's not gonna be able to suck us up. Okay. We unloaded, now just run. Just run away. We're gonna have to try and get a heal, assuming that we don't die to the pieces of armor. We're gonna die to the pieces of armor. Holy fuck, two health. Fuck me, dude. Jesus. Why? Why does old armor do so much damage? <laughs> uh, eat the mulberry. Imagine just skipping Mercy. The chance that Oswald was the next player. Duh, fuck, we're eating. All right. Um, it's okay. It's not gonna be enough to kill us. Just gotta, just gotta run away. We're so close, man. Okay. Do we have anything that can heal us? We do have another mulberry. That'll only give us 20 HP, though. It feels bad, but I'm going to use a healing tonic. And then quickly reload, maybe, please. Okay. 
All we gotta do is a little bit more damage. He's dead. Thank fuck. Okay. All we gotta do is kill the frogs. Oh no, we don't even have to kill frogs. That's right. Story bosses, when they die, it's over. Thank God. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that was way too difficult. <laughs> it should not have been that hard. Oh, Lord. Can we just murder him, maybe? Ooh. Frog boy, go for it. His fighting style was the opposite of hers, and you loved it. I'm excited to experience it then. <laughs> Classic mode, that's the, uh, that's, like, the remake without all of the, the bonuses or something? Well, I mean, it wasn't really you, it was the sorcerer, so I mean, like... Classic mode is like the PS2 version, yeah. I wonder if it's exactly like it, though, or if it has any of the updates. Of course, the PS4 is capable of emulating PS2 games, so maybe it's literally just the PS2 version. It does use updated graphics, but that's it. Okay. I'm assuming it also got rid of, like, all the slowdown and shit, too, all the lag. <laughs> oh, yep, that's right. That was the end of the story. That one went by pretty quickly, man. Uh, hopefully the other ones do too. <laughs> like, I don't mind her as a character, but holy hell, man, is that hard. So hopefully the other bosses will be a little bit more manageable once we, you know, level up a little bit, get used to her as a, a, a as playing as her, um, maybe with a different moveset or something. I don't know, but shit, dude. Shit. <laughs> The next boss fight, though? Don't tell me that. Called it. it. Yeah, kinda kinda figured that's what Melvin was up to. Yeah, you're in a tough position, that's for sure. Been planning it for a long time. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, dot dot dot. Have fun with that one. Hmm. Y'all are worrying me just a little bit. <laughs> uh. Sounds like another dude's got a thing for the fairies. Do I want to buy anything? I mean, I want to buy some bags just so we have extra space, but I'm not going to buy the small ones. Well, the small ones hold five. No, we're going to we're gonna wait and get some of the regular size ones, I think. We'll, we'll deal with five for now. Um, speaking of, though, what is in our inventory? Is there anything we want to get rid of or move around? Uh, okay, first off, sort, please. Thank you. Let's see. Put the antidote down here with the other potions. 
we have one carrot, one onion, a fish fillet. We can't do anything with the fish fillet right now. So we might as well just throw that into a material or sell it. And uh, if we're not fighting as many people, we're going to be hurting a little bit more for money. So I think I'm going to sell the fish fillet. Um, there we go. It's only two gold, but oh well, whatever. Get rid of that, and then we'll keep everything else for now. And our our, our whole 30 coin that we have. <laughs> keep a hold of that too, I guess. Where are we going next? We are going... Oh, back to the Forest of Fairies. Oh, we were in the other forest last time. I don't, all the forests kind of blur together, man. I don't know what's what. You might want to level up a bit. If we get there, I, I'll try to... <laughs> if, if it's, like, that bad and we need to, then, like, we will, obviously, but, like... It's one of the nice things about this game is that you can just, you know, go back home at any time. Annoying Mercedes example one. Yeah, Mercedes. You're the queen. There goes. See, she's growing. She's learning. That's character development, is what that is. You just gotta give her a, a, a chance to grow. You know, get it, get used to her new role as queen. She she went from being a spoiled child to a queen overnight. After watching her mother die in front of her. <laughs> like, she's got a little bit of trauma to deal with. That's all I'm saying. She's still bratty. That's true. She is. She is. I'm used to that, though. I put up with a brat every day. Noodle. Cough. Cough. <laughs> I don't know if she can hear right now. Uh, I think everything is going to be fine. Uh... There we go. These guys are going down easily enough. Honestly, big guys like this I think will be a little bit easier to fight because they're easier to hit than those stupid frogs are. Hmm, what did you say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we still haven't got any more abilities. Surprising. Uh, gold, please. Yes. Muggle seed, material, mulberry seed, and a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. Wait, I still I see a still bratty message. Uh <laughs> Did I say you were bratty? No, I didn't say you were bratty. I said I deal with a brat every day. Noodle cough cough. <laughs> That's what I said. So technically, no. I didn't say you were bratty. I called you a brat. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh yes valkyrie was talking about the character i was definitely talking about you <laughs> uh. noodle knows she's a brat she can try to act otherwise but she is don't let her lie to you oh that's right we're fighting other fairies Ah, uh, how's it feel to die to your queen? We can't use magic in the air. That's annoying. Oh, good. We get more. Uh, we get more carrots in this area too. So that's good. I don't think there's going to be enough foes on to grow a muggle. There probably would have been to grow a mulberry though. And health, I feel like, is what we need more than anything. Although, leveling up our cipher uh, does level up our attack power too. So. 
There is that. Um, it seems like we don't really need the antidotes as much anymore, so... I think I'm going to... Sacrifice one of the muggles, put in here, and start leveling up a single... A single material, so that we can, uh... So that we can make just a little bit of inventory space. I, I want to get some carrots for healing potions and stuff. So then we'll you mix that with the antidote. Or wait. That would keep it at level 2 because it's level 1. So we might... Okay, so take that and mix it with another seed actually first. And then... We take that and mix it with this. And that'll give us at least some benefit. Only level 4, but whatever. When is your birthday, Noodle? The entire month of May? Like I said, brat. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love her to death, but she's a brat. <laughs> hey, speaking of mulberries as an ingredient, it takes egg, mulberry, and overripe mulberry. Like, when am I ever going to collect overripe mulberry, though, you know? <laughs> no, I'm not. Love you, Noodle. You're my brat. <laughs> oh. I'm already feeling the pain of uh, having, like, fuck all for inventory space. So that's good. Make another healing tonic. Have that ready to go. Save for level 8. Have we unlocked something? We have not. Still. Okay, where do we want to go? We don't need to go to the shop. I... Already did that. What is I? That uh, invincibility? Invisibility? I don't know what that one is. We will collect the coins. This one's kind of a mess of a layout, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll go north first, get whatever I is, collect the two coins, and then after that, we'll rush for the boss. Yeah. Carrot? Eh, onion. What's the napalm recipe again? Let's check that real quick, actually, because I, I do agree with y'all that I think Napalm would be very handy as her. Um, start is the button that I'm looking for. Thank you. Alchemy N. LMN. Level 2 and an onion. That's what I thought. Okay. Illumini. Illumini? Illumini. <laughs> it's a lifesaver. Level 2 plus onion. Yes. Yes, it is. So, in that case, we can take what the level hey mr noodle thank you so much for the bits love we can take a level zero do we have anything to mix it with to make it level two i kind of want to keep the mulberry seeds uh baromet seeds are more rare though oh your break's over already okay love have a nice uh rest of your day i'll see you in a little bit if you can still hear me remind me do i need to pick you up from work tonight before you go if you can still hear me if you can't then that's fine i get it no you don't need me to pick you up okay all right well i love you i'll see you whenever you get home have a nice rest of your shift if possible even though i i like the mulberry better than the baromet mulberry seeds are so much more common so we're just gonna we're gonna use those i think plus now that we're starting to unlock muggles muggles are the I think better for for the experience if I remember correctly. I kind of want to wish you a calm shift, but I don't know how to put it into words. You just did, man. You put it into words perfectly. I wish you a calm shift. <laughs> oh, carrots, yes, please. And all right, let's uh, let's get out of here now. We spent enough time fucking about in the the inventory. Let's get into the fighting. What are we fighting? Uh, do we think we have enough to grow anything? Eight posons. Eight's not that many. I, I think we'll be able to grow it. Hopefully, we'll be able to grow it. Is that everything? Nope, there's more coming. Oh yeah, no, there's more than enough to grow that seed. Oh, we probably would have had enough to grow like the, the Baromet if we wanted to. 
Uh, y'all can just keep flying. No, don't catch me on fire. What are you doing? I don't like fire. <laughs> I'm not into being burned alive. <laughs> um, okay, we don't have any food, so I guess we have to take a healing tonic. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Was that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. It's not like... It's not like a saying or anything if you were going for a specific saying. But, like, yeah, that totally makes sense. Like what you said. That was perfectly fine English. Oh, my lord. How do I... <laughs> I actually have to, like, hit the fruit with it. It's like I have to jump to hit the muggle. I can't just shoot it. <laughs> I kind of wish if I just hit the plant, it would knock the muggle off. That's going to make harvesting fruit so much more difficult. <laughs> Still haven't gotten any new abilities either. Lame. Alright, so we got a muggle seed again. Ice spirit. Oh, okay, so it's like the fire spirits, but in ice form. That's, yeah, that makes total sense. And the fire ones are really good, so I'm assuming the ice ones will be good too. Let's uh, organize just a little bit, please. Let's get the actual potions down in here. I'm kind of regretting not buying the bag now, TBH. Just because, fuck, man. <laughs> Inventory space is rough. So freaking rough. What are we going to be fighting? Is it going to be a unicorn, bro? Yep. Oh, dude. They're even called unicorn knights. I didn't realize that before. <laughs> As long as he doesn't charge us, we should be okay. Oh, du oh dude. Too freaking easy with the Unicorn Knight. Get fucked. Also, lots of foes on, so let's throw down... I think we have another Muggle Seed, don't we? Yeah, let's throw that down. And then we might as well go ahead and eat one. For some experience. Oh, and we got level S. Man, what you talking about? We need to level up. We Gucci. We perfectly fine. That's what you wish people uh, for the next shift at the hotel. Wasn't sure if it translates well. Yeah. Yeah, no, it translates perfectly fine, man. You wish more people would wish you a calm shift whenever you worked? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so we we can make another healing potion with all these carrots that we have. Especially with her, I feel like we're going to need it. So that'll clear up one inventory spot. Hey, Dorseman, what's up, man? Happy to see you today, bud. Uh, while I got you here, are we still on for tomorrow night for the podcast? And uh, as far as what you missed, oh my lord. Uh, the story for this game, we tried to explain it earlier. And we realize that, like, it's just, it's pointless. <laughs> like, there's there's no way to explain it. You're just going to end up having to play the game, man. Which I know is something you were wanting to do anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's the only way, I think, to effectively explain what the hell is going on here. Uh, let's take the level 4 that we have and mix it with some of the seeds. Since there's, there's a bunch of seeds on the ground anyways. Um... That way we can clear up some space and we can... Oh, wait, but there's a level 20 right here. So we can mix... Mm... We can mix the 20. There's... Oh, God, we have so many, like, high-level things. Okay, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just keep dumping it into this one for now. Mulberry seed, yep, throw it in there. Our summaries were subpar, to put it simply. Yes. <laughs> Not that it was their fault or anything. It's just, this is a rough game to explain the plot to, it turns out. Because it is all over the place, man. Oh, and look at that. We can make toxin. It's level 6 with a carrot? Really? This game and the other one, too? Oh, yeah, the other one is... Uh, uh, Dark Cloud is the other one that we plan on covering, for anybody that's curious. And yeah, that one... Is also a bit hard to explain the plot to, I feel like. Um, okay, so if we mix you with you, that would give us 60. 
we make six with two, that would be 120, which would just level out to 20. So let's just go ahead and mix it with that one. And then we'll pick up the the material. Also, Dorseman, while you're here, man, I have a request for you. Um, I edited the emote a little bit, uh, the hype one, because I wanted it to be even smaller, the bubble. Um, excuse me. But as you can see, it's really hard to see, like, with as small it is, the text. Do you think maybe we... Would you mind, like, recoloring the background as, like, I don't know, or, or the, the, uh, the, the... Fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know if we should just do the WTF, like what the, the default hype emote has, or if we would just like make the color of the text yellow was suggested. Maybe that would make it pop a little bit. I don't know. It's just the, the text doesn't really end up coming through. So like, <laughs> there you go. Silence is, is now has a new, uh, a new hype emote. That's all they needed in life. Um, but anyways, Dorseman, if you can still hear me, I, uh, yeah, I don't, if you have an idea on how to make that a little bit better, um, just because it's so hard to read. Uh, okay, what was I doing? I was trying to make some inventory space go around here. We can make another health potion if we wanted to, but we already have a bunch. So I think we're just going to have to accept that we can't pick up this muggle seed and move on with our life. Because the other one's grape, and grape is better than muggle. So, yeah... Uh, I guess we could go to the shop and see if maybe they have a bag. No, I really don't want to buy the small bag if I don't have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to wait a little bit. I'm gonna try to wait a little bit, man. I made the silence. He did. He did. He made the heart and the uh, the hype one. I uh, edited the hype one a little bit, um, but he did 99% of the work. So, 100%, man. Queen dies, her bratty daughter becomes queen overnight, but has no idea how to rule the country. Her evil cousin tries to take her throne. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> honestly uh, as good an explanation as any. I, I couldn't do it any better, that's for sure. I don't even know why I worried about collecting that. We can't pick it up anyways. Um, I'm going to try and grow the grape. I'm going to be very upset when it doesn't work, but I'm going to try. Uh, Die, fairy, die. Is there another wave? There's not another wave. Yeah, that's not going to be enough to grow the grape. We could use the quick grow. Oh, you know what we can do? We can make a potion. We'll make a potion. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to get it to go. So what do we have? We have 60. I think a 60 will be enough. I kind of want to make napalm. Do I have onion? I do. So I need a 62. So let's pick up some seeds. One and two. Okay, can't pick that up. This game is so unique looking. It is, man. It really, really is. It's beautiful. The music is beautiful. The art is beautiful. The entire game is just really pretty. I just hate the menu system. <laughs> like The menu system is rough, man. That is, honestly, other than that and lag... I have no other complaints about the game. It's just, it's really fun. It's a really good time. It's a great concept for a game, too. Like, in the story, the story is very inter- Ah, oh, but we can get Painkiller. I think I'm going to make Painkiller instead of Napalm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Painkiller for sure, because this, this girl takes all kinds of freaking damage, man. <laughs> and I can't. I can't, I can't deal with all the damage. Is that going to be enough for the grape to grow? It is. Okay. So suck in the rest before they, before they disappear. The remake really fixes that. Yeah. If I wasn't doing the whole PS2 gauntlet thing, I would probably be playing the remake version. But, uh, you know, it's the PS2 gauntlet, not the PS4 gauntlet. Yet, my goal is, for anybody that wasn't aware, um, like 30 years from now, <laughs> to be playing all of the PS4 games. Because after I collect PS2, I want to move on to PS1 and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, whether we ever get there or not depends on how much time I can end up devoting to 
to this whole crazy thing that I'm doing here. All right, uh, da da da. So we got our grape. That's cool. I guess we'll just continue on to the next area now because I think we're out of inventory space. We are. Let's take the painkiller and put down there, I think. Yeah, something like that. And then we got the coin. That's what we came here for. So let's head to the boss. Also, the world might end first. I mean, that's a possibility, but like, <laughs> let's hope not. <laughs> silence. Are you are you hyped about the end of the world, Silence? Or what's uh, <laughs> what's the hype for? I'm a little I'm a little confused on that one, man. <laughs> I think it was just poor timing. <laughs> uh. Why? <laughs> I think the game was glitched a little bit there. I think I was technically hitting him in the back, even though I was in front of the Unicorn Knight. So it was giving him knockback, but in the direction of the character. <laughs> yeah, see, it's doing it again. I think because like I'm so I'm so close to him, and the the damage technically comes from the end of the weapon. Um, <laughs> So it's, it's fucking up a little bit and just uh, pushing us backwards into, into uh, or pushing the, the boss into us instead of pushing them away from us, like I think it was meant to do. But, uh, oh well, it's fun. Chins are 50-50 looking at you 2020 and 2021. <laughs> oh, God. Let's hope not, man. I think everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Just gotta have a positive attitude, right? That'll that'll fix everything. <laughs> oh god. Oh, hey, uh, I just realized I wasn't paying enough attention, and there is an ad running in the background. Um so <laughs> I'm not gonna play any more of the game since the ad is running. We're gonna switch over to the break screen, take a break for just a moment or two while the ad runs. I apologize for it being such short notice. We'll be back in just a few minutes. I suggest everyone takes this as a moment to stretch and get a drink, do whatever they want to do. I think I might go... Oh, no, my sorbet is not ready. I got to run it through the machine again. Anyways, okay, whatever. I'm going to stand up, stretch, and get a drink. So be back in just a few minutes, guys. <laughs> nope, we're folding out. <laughs> The only thing that annoys me is I can't see what they actually ended up having in their hand. That's a no. Complete. What'd we get? Anybody want it big? <laughs> hey, thank you, Mr. Noodle, for the, uh, I don't know how many you just put in, but thank you for however many, uh, points you just donated for the community stream. She didn't donate 14,000 just now. 14,000 total. <laughs> is what she donated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Mr. Noodle actually just got 733. Good for you, Noodle. On that there. All right, we're going to do another one. Lines are 10 and 20. We'll start it after after the deal, though, so everybody can get a little bit better of an idea of what we're going to get. Oh, you donated another 2,000? The player folds. Okay, we got an ace and a four. We're playing with an ace and a four, guys. All right, that's what we got in our hand. Will we win the pot? Will, well, win the hand, whatever. I mean, an ace and a four is not terrible, right? It's not amazing by any means. But, like, it could be better, too. You thought she won 14000 for a second? <laughs> yeah, no, definitely didn't win 14,000. Rue just finished it off. Thank you so much, Rue. So now we just got to find a day for a uh, 12 hour stream, not 13. <laughs> Probably, uh, I don't know. It'll be most likely a Wednesday. It might be on a Saturday. It probably won't be for another few weeks, though, but yeah. Yeah, so we have an ace and a four. So again, that's not like the worst hand possible, but it's definitely nothing amazing. Really not going to know for sure until the uh, next three cards go down. That's whenever that's whenever you get a really good idea for it. New nails, there's going to be typos. I don't know how you can deal with those long-ass nails. All right, prediction time's finishing up. Let's see what gets thrown on the table. Good. 
I call. He is folding. Man, this is this is some uh, hot entertainment right here, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> here we go. Let's see the flop. All right, we got not Jack ten nine. Uh, hmm. Yeah. So I mean, we could get a flush. He bets nine ten or ten nine ten Jack Queen King Ace. No, it's unlikely though. We'd need a Queen and a King to come down. I don't know, guys. This isn't looking too good. Do we just fold it right here, or do we keep going? Y'all just want me to fold because you want to win. Check. You think we check? Well, somebody already bet 60, so we would have to go at least 60. Go for it. Keep going. All right, call 60. Yeah, it's not like it's real money anyways. Who cares, you know? <laughs> You can do a lot in a minute. That's right. Just ask Mr. Noodle, man. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> we can do it. Let's go ahead. Oh wait, no. Don't return to home base. Uh, let's let's just let's just do it. Let's just solve global warming, man. Why not, right? Uh, what else are we doing with our lives? You know, we might as well. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay. We need. We got a bunch of stuff on the ground. What can we? What can we do to make some space for all this? All this junk all that junk inside our trunk um well this healing tonic is about dead we could uh, we could do something with it maybe i don't know i guess we just i guess we just start dumping seeds into the material is all we do for now because we have like everything else that we need so, yeah, just... Oh, fuck, we don't have any... <laughs> we can't dump anything into it right now, because, yeah. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 times 20. No, that wouldn't work out well. Okay. I was seeing if it would be better to put it into the 10 or the 20 or something like that. But, no, I think putting I think putting stuff into the 0 is the best call. Uh, easy, we just need to eat the rich. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's one way of going about it, I suppose. Oh, that's a Rosimile. Do we have anything that we want to grow then? Um, I don't really want to grow the Baromet right now, I'll be honest. Uh, grape. How much does Grape take again? 12. That's how much a Rosimile releases. So there we go. We'll, we'll grow another Grape. That's that's something that we can do. Right? That's, that's a thing. And then we can pick up the Muggle Seed and dump you into, into you real quick. And then... We can we can take those two things now and we'll put the two into the 20 to make it a 40 40 is not that's not the best multiplication that we could do by any means to, to, to but it, it helps clear up some inventory space though so we're just gonna do it anyways and then we're gonna wait for this grape to grow and then we're gonna we're gonna pick that up and then we'll go on to the next area for whatever whatever that is I don't know I don't know what that's gonna be hopefully it's a new alchemy thing maybe a new recipe i actually i like the alchemy more than i like the recipes to be honest just because the uh alchemy is easier to use like and then the uh then the whatchamacallit then the the cooking the cooking has all those loading screens and you have to have all those those pesky ingredients and stuff you know what i mean alchemy we can just we can just do that anywhere anytime it's it's fun do you have any friends named Kanga? <laughs> Kangaroo? Global warming is a myth. We made it up. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I mean, look, normally I am of the opinion that all opinions are valid, but uh, I... Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, I might have to I might have to take that back with that one, man. I don't know. I love you, Silence, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. Someone take his bag of sh <laughs> Now, now, guys. Let's all be friends. Dorseman silence. Foes on... Hey. Cool. So she did unlock that ability. The ability that lets us cheat levels, essentially. So, like, uh, we're going to take that one. 
<laughs> like the earth is a globe yeah man that's one opinion that i can't get behind there like who the hell would ever believe that the earth is a globe come on i mean have you seen all the other planets in the solar system they're all round and we know we're special so if they're round we can't be round too we have to be flat flat earther for life god i hate myself right now just plant trees honestly yes yes planting trees is is a excellent thing that we should be doing more of and not cutting down as many pot a few that's that's french i'm positive and like <laughs> chicken carrots and turnips cool that uh i mean that sounds good i like i like those things i like chicken and carrots and turnips those are all tasty. We don't have space to pick up literally any of this stuff. Do we have any seeds that we can dump? Just the bare met seed. That's that's the only seed we have right now. I mean, we might as well drop that for a moment then. And then, like... Uh... Hmm. We'll, we'll try to make another higher level one. So we'll pick up this level zero material. And then, uh... And then mix. Oh, no. Or we could do an 80. Yeah, we could do an 80. So, actually, we're going to drop the level 10 one, too. <laughs> God. Anyways, let's let's pick up these seeds. Now, I hate this inventory system, man. I'm assuming the inventory space is the same in the remake, though. Even if... Uh, even if... The, the menu system's better. I'm assuming you don't get extra inventory space, which is too bad. I kind of wish you would, but yeah. Okay, so we can take the two, mix it with the four. That'll give us a level 80. That's what I was That's what I was aiming for. And then there we go. We can, we can continue on to the boss, which apparently may be hard. Everybody was telling me that I might want to grind a little bit. So let's save real quick in case we end up having to like yeet ourselves out of this fucking boss fight. But yeah. You just watched the Awesome Power movie and the Penta Pentaverate. I've never watched the Awesome Power movies like all the way through. I've seen one of them, I think, all the way through, but I just I couldn't get behind it, so I never got around to watching the other ones. Man, eh. honestly, as long as you're not anti-vax, you will be your friend. If you find out someone's anti-vax, I'm sorry, but whatever friendship we had is over. I try not to cut things off so abruptly with people, but I also just cannot uh, wrap my head around the whole anti-vax thing, like. I, I, I'm not going to get into it here, but like, I, I don't, I can't, I don't know how you can be. <laughs> I, I just don't understand it, man. I, I don't know. I'm pro-vax for sure. <laughs> In case that's not clear. Gun Rex say I'm very pro tree plant oxygen, so I only eat meat out <laughs> of the animal, but fuck yeah, nature. Oh God. The only good ketchup is Heinz. Uh, the great value ketchup, I feel like, is okay. Like, it's a decent enough replacement, but... And the, the what McDonald's used to use, their fancy ketchup, that was good ketchup. But, like, yeah. Cats up, excuse me. <laughs> We're on that cats up hype here. Like... <laughs> Did the flat earthers find the edge yet? Hmm. It's really surprising that they haven't at this point, you know? They've only had thousands of years to do so. It was Heinz. Uh, Heinz was for the... Uh, I worked at McDonald's too. Heinz was for the sandwiches. The packets were fancy ketchup. It was their own brand. It's because uh, back in the day there was a Heinz shortage and they couldn't get enough. So they started making their own. Called fancy ketchup. Um... And then once the Heinz shortage like got better or whatever, they eventually went back to just using Heinz packets. But fancy Heinz? No, it was just fancy. Like it was their own brand. <laughs> oh god. Hey, we get a fight. Uh, husband, uh, dude of Gwendolyn, Oswald. Thank you. I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> Have fun. Good luck. Oh god. It's gonna be fine. You guys worry too much. I'm going to load myself up on all of these uh, quote-unquote potions. Definitely definitely not drugs. You know, potions that I got in my inventory here. And we'll be fine. Take some painkiller for, for the pain that we'll undoubtedly be feeling here. Uh, take some ice spirits. 
to to you know make us immune to pain and also like potentially freeze him and i think that's probably all we honestly need and then we just shoot the shit out of him Ah, uh, see, look, it's fine. We're already, like, got him basically dead. He looks a little, a little, uh, not too friendly at the moment, though. I will say that. Holy hell, dude. Holy shit. I'm really glad we ended up taking that, uh, painkiller potion, though. Because if we hadn't, we would be way worse off at the moment, man. Holy shit. Look how much damage we've taken. And that's with the painkiller. Wait a second. How's he... How's he... He still has full health. Uh, excuse me? Does he heal or... Can he not take damage in shadow mode? What is going on? Somebody explain. <laughs> There's a mechanic here that I feel like I'm missing. I'm get... Is it while he's in shadow mode he can't take damage? I am very confused. Can I can I eat my food before you beat the shit out of me, Mr. Oswald, sir? I'm very happy that we that we took that painkiller, by the way. Otherwise, we would probably be dead right now. You're not kidding about this being a hard-ass fight, either. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> uh. Okay kill the mages so the mages are healing him is that what you're saying the only good water is the nuclear spring water from my backyard you haven't been quenched until you've had that nice <laughs> i love when the water i drink glows as it goes down you know a nice brilliant green glow in my throat uh i saw a tiktok of someone deep throating a glow a glowing dodo so there's that <laughs> That's the image that entered my mind whenever I said that. <laughs> it was just on TikTok. It was it was a video, man. <laughs> uh I need more I need more ice spirits. Ice spirits for the win. Sir. <laughs> uh hold up. <laughs> yes. Can I can I help you? Glow in the dark dota? It wasn't glow in the dark the whole thing was glowing like because just glow in the dark would be one thing no it was just like the whole thing was glowing bright as bright as can be like oh my god i'm gonna die screw his shadow mode man um drink some ice spirits maybe quickly it was radioactive yeah exactly uh Freeze resist. Yeah, I know. He resists everything. I'm trying to heal. Get away from me. <laughs> Go away, you dick. <laughs> I can't even shoot them. I'm trying to kill the mage ladies. Die. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to reload. Don't you fucking heal him. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now run away and try and get a heal in. He's about to go into shadow mode again too, is he not? Uh, okay, I think if we eat a grape, we'll be fine. Yeah, because that'll definitely level us up. Butterfly spotted. I mean, a butterfly would be nice. Also, we're out of painkiller. Take another painkiller. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Is he? Does he resist napalm, I wonder? Uh, there's only one way to tell. <laughs> Shit, he went into shadow mode. Son of a bitch. Ice Spirit. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Imagine the tingles down there. <laughs> oh Lord. I don't I don't think that's a good good kind of tingle to have down there, man. Just throwing that out there. I mean I'm no I'm no expert on the matter, but like You thought Americans were supposed to be prudish? Only in our media. I mean there's there's some very prudish Americans, I suppose. This is definitely true. But, like, I don't know. I feel like my generation isn't that bad for the most part. There we go. We figured out how to kill the dude. You just gotta murder him quickly before... Wait, why is the fight still going? Is he not dead? 
Oh god, did we glitch the game? Okay, there it goes. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, hard facts, no printer. <laughs> like, our media is pretty prudish about things, and some of the older generations are definitely prudish, for sure. I'm sure there's some uh, people my age that are as well, but like, I don't know. I don't hang out with those people, so. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. I wasn't paying that much attention, but I'm pretty sure they said his Shinigami, which is like Death God. <laughs> uh, hmm. So his Shadow Knight is like a Death God mode? Oh, we got the, the ability to turn people into frogs. Nice. Some are prudish, but that's the conservative Christians. Your generation has no filter. Yeah. Our generation. Yeah. The fleshlight, flashlight, search your house. Search yourself. <laughs> Can't find your keys in your house. There's only one place left to look. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that potion won't kill him. The kiss from a powerful fairy is able to break a spell of this type. Gotta kiss the frog, man. Let's go. Kiss him. Do it. Kiss him. <laughs> the Shinigami or the Haja? I feel like... Oh man, I could have swore he said... Shinigami, though. Like I said, I wasn't paying that much attention. Maybe I misheard. But, hmm. Oh, just kiss him. It's just a frog. It's not even like you're kissing a person. It's like kissing a cat or something, you know? It's not that big of a deal. Ryuk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ryuk from Death Note. Shinigami. Save the game. Yes. Yes, please. Which he refuses to do, dumbass. That could have been your king. Japan Shinigami basically is the Grim Reaper, so you are correct. Well, I know what Shinigami means in Japanese. I just, I, it sounded like that's what he said um, whenever he was talking about his quote unquote Shadow Knight form. So, yeah. They said he was taken by a Shinigami. Okay, so I just, I wasn't paying enough attention. That's what happened. Got it. You didn't? You didn't what? I should they though? I mean, they knew who their queen was, and they went along with the the false king, anyways. You know what I mean? Like, does this? <laughs> yes, we're ready. Kiss him. What a tease! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people in this game have a thing for the fairies, man. I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Third eye Das. <laughs> das is also a German word, I think is what Valkyrie is trying to get at. If I'm not mistaken, DOS means that. So, I mean, it's not that far off from what people over here like to use DOS for. That's probably why, especially since, you know, German for a long time was the second largest uh, language in America for a long time. Uh, what you got? You got a bigger bag by any chance? Because that's really what I want. You do. Thank fuck. Give me, give me the bag. Uh... I have one Titanian. Oh, shit. I don't want to use the Valentinian gold. But, like, man, honestly, we end up doing so few recipes anyways that, like, I just want the bag. Just give me the bag, man. Just, just give it to me. Even that Puka wants a fairy wife. Everybody wants a fairy wife, who, dude. Oh, wait. We already got the ability to go to the Puka village? Well, now I kind of feel dumb for, <laughs> for giving up the coin. That was pretty early. Do we have 
can we even make anything right now though? Let's let's equip our bag to get that out of that. DOS is the one of the three the. Do you have a word that means that specifically though? Like T H A T that the word that not. <laughs> It's been a long time since I studied German, so I can't remember if, like, the is just used in place of that, or if that is its own word in German. At any time, feel free to correct me, because, like, yeah, obviously, not a, uh, a German speaker, speaker here. Uh, okay, let's move these down, and we have grape, and that's pretty much it. So, no, I don't think there's any point in going to the Puka area right now, because I don't think we can make any recipes anyways. So, let's just continue on, man. Let's go. How much time do we got left? What time is it? It is 1940. Okay. So, we got a little over an hour left. I really want some sorbet. During the next break, which will probably take in 20-ish minutes... I think I might go make my sorbet real quick. <laughs> it doesn't take long. Thankfully, the machine that I have that makes sorbet, super quick, super quick. So it won't be, it'll be a tiny bit longer than a normal break, but it should only be like a minute longer or something like that. Maybe two. Your grandfather was almost completely German. His parents came over here from Germany in the early 1900s. Yeah, I mean, again, a ah, lot of German immigrants came to America um, in the 1900s and whatnot. And, uh... For again, for a long, long time, if I remember my history right, uh, German was the number two language. Uh, I think at one time it was even proposed to be a official language in America, but uh, then we just ended up doing, you know, English, and then all others being accepted. <laughs> Ooh, a new dragon, fancy. Have we seen this dragon before? Other than Bilal and the little cute dragon, have we seen any other ones? I don't remember. Wag uh, Wagner, yeah. Okay. I, says, I don't know how to pronounce that second word, but okay. Okay. I forgot about you. I mean, you've lost every other fight you've been in with uh, with me so far, so... Wow, how are you going to just call me a joke to my face like that, man? Rude. Surname was Steiger, you think? It was Americanized to Staggers when they got here? Yep. Oh, he's mad at Oswald. That makes sense. Because of him killing Hindel. Heindel? Heindel. Well, Shadow Knight not so much, man. He was defeated, but not exactly killed. Okay, so Dragon Mad that we slayed Dragon. Uh, either bring him the dude that slayed him or prove that he's dead. Got it. If we don't, he will set our entire force ablaze. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kiss the frog. That's what you need to do. If you kiss the frog, maybe he'll have some answers. This is some way to help. <laughs> what do you think is really going to happen if you go there and talk to the dragon again? Like, do you think he's going to be more friendly just because you came to his house to talk? Like, 
I don't think it's gonna work that way, man. I'm just just throwing that out there. Also, Winterhorn, isn't this the the Cold Lands? Probably from the south, Bavaria, maybe. Bavaria, really? That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I would like to know where I came from, too, my family. Uh, it seems likely... I haven't taken a DNA test, but just from tracing what I can of my family history, which is not much that I can, it seems likely that I came from the Scottish area, or Scotland, like that kind of area. Maybe Ireland. Um, definitely English in nature, but like... Probably Scottish Norse sort of thing going on. Uh, more likely Scottish, based off of uh, my 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 name and the history that I can track. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I got. Uh, my other side of the family, though, is almost certainly um, German, like because uh, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I, I, I don't want to bring up, you know, my real name and whatnot, my real, la or my, the last name of, like, my father and all that, or my birth father, uh, I don't claim him as my father for, you know, because he's not in my life, but anyways, uh, but yeah, he, he, he 100% has a German last name, so, like, I, I know for a fact that that side came from Germany or somewhere close to it, because it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> uh, so. But from my mother's side, the side of the family that I actually, you know, talk to and interact with, um, I'm pretty sure that's Scottish, maybe Irish origin. Like, Yeti, yes. <laughs> that's that's it, Yeti. Chicken au gratin, dude, I do like chicken. I do like uh, cheese, stuff baked in cheese, too. So, like... Chicken au gratin sounds pretty good to me. Pick up all this shit we need to find. Um, is it is, is it turnips that make the warming potion? I thought it was the habaneros. Or no, it is it is the turnips. The the habaneros make uh warming potions. So we need to make we need to make a warming potion so that we stop taking damage from the frigid frigid temperatures of the area. The biggest of foota. What are, you, what are you guys even talking about right now? I am all kinds of confused with, with what's going on over here. Hamburger's like the other side. <laughs> My sakes, but there are no real borders for, sur for surnames. This, that's, that's very true, yeah. Hence why I'm not sure exactly where I came from. I just know that uh, the family I can track was most common from that area. And uh, I was told growing up that there was Scottish-Irish in our in our history as well so like yeah genus type biggest footus <laughs> what the hell dude i i love all of you you're all <laughs> you're the best friends a person could ask for uh so don't take this wrong but damn y'all are weird sometimes <laughs> uh. Well, I knew, I knew, I saw that. I just, I don't know where all the biggest footage stuff is coming from and whatnot. That's the part I'm getting very confused on. Like, uh, <laughs> like, where, where is the biggest footage, the, the, the big foot? Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh. Rosimile, very nice. Grapes, also very nice. Muggle, meh. Uh, let's grow a grape, man. I think Rosimile gives us enough. If not, then we can always just release some. So do that. And you asked where I was from. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't really ask, but I was I was wondering it about it out loud, I suppose. Uh, so I'm I'm half Bigfoot. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I I come I come from the mountains in the woods. My my mother slept with Bigfoot and uh, <laughs> out popped baby me. Like, <laughs> uh, I like the word bitch. It's polite and aggressive. Where's the? I I get. The, I'm very confused. <laughs> I get the 
I get the uh, the aggressive part. Where does the polite part? Ah, I didn't mean to absorb that. That's fine. At least we have the ability to release. There we go. Now reabsorb them, because <laughs> it takes exactly twelve to grow grapes, and that's how many of our simile lets out. Uh, speaking of, though, do we have a full-grown muggle by any chance? We do. Let's eat that up. Get some EXP, please. Yes, lol. <laughs> okay. I I mean, hey, we learn new things about ourselves every day, right? I learned that uh, my mom had a fling with Bigfoot. <laughs> uh. I'm still I'm still waiting to learn how bitch is a polite word though. That's uh that's something that I that I really need to know. That's why I like the woods so much. Oh man, I'm going camping and and here soon for, for Noodle's birthday. I am very excited for it. I am still very surprised that they picked to go camping because they are not an outdoors person. But uh I'm excited nonetheless. Cause I not only enjoy camping and the outdoors, but uh, I just want to get the hell away from everything for a little bit. So that, you know, that all checks out. <laughs> and you are 65% hair. I think you might be underestimating me a bit, sir, to be honest. I would say it's at least like 73. At the least, you know? Just look at your sprite up there. <laughs> I mean, that is a very accurate representation, for sure. Uh, eat some grapes. Got any grapes? Do I have a low-level material that I can dump that into? I do. Do I want to dump it in the 10? Do I have a zero? Do I really not? Okay, let's see what the chest gives us. Because the chest might drop a level zero. It did not. Holy hell. Okay. Uh, Muggle seed that we can't pick up. Alchemy mix O. What is O? Hype. Ooze. Ew. <laughs> Summon an ooze that attaches to enemies and immobilizes them. Gross. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we'll just use the level 10 one then and mix it with some stuff to get out of our inventory like some grape stems. Because, I mean, I'm not really going to be carrying that around. Tiny werewolf man. We still haven't unlocked the map. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm guessing this is the right way to go. Big guess. Have no idea. Oh, uh, warming potion, please. We are we are freezing to death. I mean, probably because we're, like, wearing no clothes, basically. I don't think this outfit is really made for, for traversing winter snow-covered mountains. Just... Throwing that out there. Uh, piercing shot. Her magic is really good. Like, the rest of her stuff is, is not so great. But she does got some good-ass magic, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give her that. Like, ah, we missed the big fella. The big fella's the one that I wanted to hit the most. He freezes me. I don't like it. I don't want to be frozen. Oh, hi, uh, other big fellas. Would you be okay with being shot with my uh, piercing shot? Maybe maybe dying in the process? Uh, why did little guy not die? There we go. Get fucked. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we have enough to grow another muggle. Laying around here. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm, I'm going to assume that we do and hope it's true. gonna grow I, I want to absorb some on. please tell me it's gonna grow it did thank goodness holy shit dude there were a lot of on still around here if I don't know how to pronounce that kud is based on the surname Ud? Ude? Uh, uh like son of something which is sort of Udo you googled that I hope that helped it's common in the region Hanover bon Bronchwa uh, <laughs> nope <laughs> uh very old name. Like, nobody alive would have a name like that. Not even two or three generations back. That is very cool, man. Muggle seed. Now we get the level zero. Mostly useless to us, unless we can find some other shit to mix with it. 
Um, I mean, we might as well. We're already getting a lot of grapes, which leads me to think maybe we should just eat these muggles and start getting rid of muggle seeds already. It seems so early to be doing so, but like, I don't know, man. They take up so much inventory space. Even after you eat them, they still stick around. So, fuck them. I'm gonna dump them. Dump them in some potions. I guess the level 11 one that I have. Might as well keep leveling up the same one. Hmm, yeah, fuck it. I was gonna say maybe that's not the right call, and it's probably not, to be honest, the right call, but it's too late. I already did one, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Uh, I think we had more muggle seeds, did we not? We have a muggle, but I'm not gonna dump the whole muggle in there. I would at least eat it first. I think that's everything. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Pick up the shit on the ground and continue on forth. To the next one. I think we have enough time to clean here one more area before we take a break. A short break, not a long break. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is one potion that we need to make, actually. We are out of warming potion. So, do we have... We do, we do. Get that turn up there. Harry Potter makes that confusing in this context. It does, man. The whole muggle thing. If you eat a muggle, uh, it gives you a lot of experience. That's all you need to know. What kind of muggle? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Could eat either one. <laughs> uh. Muggle, I mean, yeah. But there's so many cultures in America. That's true. That's true. There is a bunch of different cultures. Bunch of different places for uh, names to come from. Dutch, German. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We have a bunch of piercing shot stuff. Fo foes on. Fi fi bleh, cipher stuff. Uh, we can probably just... Oh, dude. This boss is trash. Get fucked, dude. <laughs> that was that was too fucking easy almost, man. Uh, well, okay. Uh, why? <laughs> I don't... I don't get why, like, it's so much easier all of a sudden, man. Like, the last couple bosses, now, granted, they were just, like, mid-level bosses, but after fighting that dragon and then fighting, what's his name, Oswald, like, these dudes are literally nothing. They're, like, they're pushovers. They're jokes. I mean, I'm not asking for it to get harder. Like, <laughs> just to be clear here, they can stay jokes. It's just, like, damn. You just live in a boring place. I, I, is it though? Cause we honestly, we have like, I guess our Hispanic community isn't huge. There, there is some, it's not very large. Um, we do have a surprising number of Asian American people living around here, right? We have some people from, uh, oh, which country is it? I, I can't remember the actual country. Like I know it and that's, what's going to bother me. Um, it's one of the... Middle Eastern, what we in America would call Middle Eastern, at least. It's one of those countries. Um, I, I I know the exact one, and that's why it's bothering me that I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, we, we have a lot of people from that area living over here. Um, uh, we have a, a reasonably sized uh, African American community. Uh, like... I feel like I feel like we're we're pretty pretty well diverse. Although there is, it's it's true, it's undeniable that there is an overwhelming like the the majority is definitely just basic ass white people like uh, like myself. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> they all hate us because the rest of the horrible white people around here. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I honestly haven't had bad interactions with people around here besides horrible horrible customers at work. Um, and those are just usually old, uh, white ladies. <laughs> Let's be honest. Those are, those are usually the shittiest people to deal with. <laughs> oh, God. Not always. Not always. But, you know. Everyone else is, like, super kind. <laughs> you know what it feels like to be hated by other nations? 
it's a little unfair at this point to, to hate on Germany, you know? There's definitely some uh, questionable history there. I mean, <laughs> it would be pointless to deny that. But, like, yeah. I would say it's unfair to hate on you now, just for that fact. Anyways, though, uh, you guys feel free to continue to converse about this amongst yourselves. But I am going to go ahead and take my quick break. Uh, it's not going to be, it's going to be, like I said before, just a minute or two longer than usual because I'm going to go, uh, return my sorbet up, uh, because I'm, I'm really feeling the, the need for some sorbet at the moment. And, uh, but we have to run an ad and anything, anyway, everything anyway. So we will be back in just a few minutes, guys. Also, thank you for being here. <laughs> two? Two? That's, nah, dude, we're screwed. We, we have to fold. We're, <laughs> we're folding. <laughs> we got to fold. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This time, to give you guys a little bit better of a chance, we'll wait until the uh, after the flop to do the bet. I'll have to call. We have a five and a jack. Not amazing. Not amazing at all. Uh, we need to finish up that last one there. Choose prediction. Choose outcome. Uh, no, definitely didn't win the hand. <laughs> Man, you suck at this game. Bruh, it's not like I can pick what cards I get. <laughs> we just shouldn't have we shouldn't have went all in with that first one. But screw it. We're gonna we're gonna call the first sixty. We're going I fold. We're going into the go. Let's see the into the flop at least. King seven nine. Uh mm, I don't know, man. Do we even do we even go? Like, do we just fold right here? Like, 9, 10, Jack, King, or Queen, King. But we would need a... We'd need a 10 to come down. I mean, there's a possibility. Oh, now there's a King? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Yep, we're going to go for it. Let's see. Let's run that prediction. Will I win the hand? Yes. No. What do you guys think? I don't want to. I don't want to fudge the outcome here, but I'll be honest. I'm thinking no. I don't think. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I mean, look. If we get a ten, that gives us a nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King. But like. Mm. I mean, it, there's like a 1 in 50, or no, a 4 in 52 chance or whatever, right? Assuming that the game does math right. What do we got? Okay. Okay. We got some yeses. We got some believers in chat. Somebody's not believing too hard, though, man. Somebody is not believing that we're going to win. Let's go. We'll check. check. There's the turn card. Three. Uh, it's looking less likely now. <laughs> we'll, we'll check since it's just a check. Off we go to the river. Five. So we got... <laughs> We got we got two of a kind, guys. Two of a kind. We could try to scare her out of it. Screw it. We're just going all in. We only have 180 bucks left. So, like... <laughs> it's like we might as well just go all in and start over, right? All in. I fold. Fold! Player she folds! Hand. We fucking won it! <laughs> we won it! We won the hand, guys. Fuck yes. Shoulda believed. Shoulda believed, Nate. <laughs> Choose prediction. Choose outcome. Will I win the hand? Complete. That's a yes. <laughs> oh, man. You should always believe, man. <laughs> who got it? Who, who, who got points that one? 150 go to Mr. Noodle and Ruman the NB twat. <laughs> Oh, 
So I had 12 points when she just was trying to recoup. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Nate. <laughs> Lines are 10 and 20. It's all right. You got you got another minute or two here to recoup some points. <laughs> all right, we got a, a two and a queen. Yep, not not great. And he folds. Uh, I mean, is anybody gonna play? Eighty bucks? Nah, man, we ain't we ain't got that kind of money. We're folding out. That's why we're not doing the the bet there. Lines are twenty five and fifty. Oh, there's like all the rules here and all that stuff. Hmm. Anyways, okay. What do we get? A seven and a queen. Okay, that's not as bad. At least they're higher cards, right? Because worst case scenario, like high highest uh, card wins. All right, so we'll we'll call the twenty five. You know, just to stay in. Just a flop. What do we get? Two nine ace. Two nine ace. And then we have seven and queen. So, uh, I mean, we could get like, if there was like a 10 and a jack, nine, 10, jack, queen. Yeah, that would work. But like, it's not, I mean, I, I'll admit, man, this one's not looking so hot. We could bluff our way to a win again by getting them to fold. But that's only a uh, that's only a maybe there, you know. There's no way to know for sure, and they could outbid us before we get there, even if they really wanted to. I mean, they got a shit ton more money than we do. And then of course, there's always the possibility they call our bluff. This is a hard one, man. I don't know. I honestly don't know which uh, which way I would bet if I were y'all. Yeah, you, you got seven seconds left. Get them bets in. All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll check. We'll check. 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 Okay, two checks. Check. What you gonna do, Randolph? Okay. Everybody checking. King. King. So. Queen, king. Ace. Jack, king, queen. Oh boy, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, we'll check. We'll check. We're gonna, We're gonna stay in it as long as we can, especially check. if it's free. Okay, all checks all around. Nine. So, <laughs> so we got, we got nothing. We got a high card of queen. I mean, there's a pair on the table. Do we bluff? I think we just bluff, man. Just put it all in. Right? Let them think that nine gave us a uh, full house or something. Or, or like, I don't know. Three of a kind, something. Uh, screw it. Well, he is We're going all in. Chips in the center. He is folding. Come on, fold, Randolph. Okay. Fold it. Ah, oh, fuck, he caught it. <laughs> Randolph won. We're out. <laughs> yeah, but there was doubles, but everybody gets that doubles there. Since it's on the, the table here, everybody gets the doubles. Uh, and he had a king, so he had two of a kind. Or two pairs, I mean. Dick, yep. We lost that one. Well, at least everybody kind of knows how to go now. Choose outcome, no. We did not win the hand. Did that help you recoup a little bit there, at least, Nate? I hope it did, bud. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, though. Now we actually have some money to play around with. Hey, we got sixth place. <laughs> I don't... I don't know how many people there were in the uh, the entire tournament there, but like, <laughs> there you go. Now you got some back. So I may have lost the remote for the TV. How the hell did you lose the TV for the remote? Or yeah, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> <coughs> remote for the TV, TV for the remote. It's the same thing at the end of the day, isn't it? It would all be bet soon enough.
All right. I apologize. My uh, my freezer well, it must have been a little bit too cold. I had to run it through the machine twice to get it to be a nice smooth consistency and not be all like... I mean, like, it's a smooth consistency even if it is too cold, but it doesn't, like, scoop like ice cream. It, it, it's a little bit like its own little chunks of uh, of sorbet. But then whenever, like, you put it in your mouth, it all, like, melts together the same or whatever. So I, I could have just left it, but I was like, eh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll return it one more time. But anyways, I now have uh, some pineapple sorbet that is delicious. So, like, that's cool. Oh, boy. I've been on a huge sorbet kick ever since I got that stupid machine that can make it. Because, like, it's easy. It doesn't have any added sugars to it. So, it's relatively healthy. Right? It's just... The, the machine that I use can just take straight fruit and fruit juice. So, I mean, fruit juice isn't the best thing in the world for you, but, like, it's still, <laughs> you know, it's still pretty good. It's better than, like, just drinking pop on its own or something, at least. Uh, but anyways, and it just turns it, like, silky smooth, man. Like, it's amazing. It's actually kind of magic. One of these days, I'll post a picture in the Discord or something of, like what it looks like before and after turning because yeah it's actually kind of uh it's actually kind of amazing but anyways though we're back and let's play some more uh odin sphere man with what time we got left everything's going right yeah okay cool let's uh we need to take some warming potion let's not forget to do that we're over here just taking pointless damage uh we don't want to do that oh hi bird dude i uh i have a gift for you it's called my gun fuck <laughs> frozen already why do we always have to be frozen sounds amazing and fits the weather yes 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 it does i've never had like real sorbet made in a shop before anything so i don't know how it would compare to like that but like the machine i have you just take like i said just it's literally just fruit and juice that's that's all you need to put in it it can basically it can turn anything into ice cream as long as it's not straight water like though it needs to have either alcohol um salt or sugar in it to stop it from freezing as solid as water on its own would um but as long as it meets that criteria it's just it just turns it into something with the consistency of ice cream like super smooth man it's actually really really cool we've made ice cream with it and the ice cream turned out creamier and more smooth than a lot of store-bought ice creams that I've had. Um, I've been making sorbet with it left and right. And, like, it's a, it's a sweet thing that I can actually eat and enjoy because, you know, it's somewhat healthy without a bunch of, add, a bunch of added sugars and whatnot. Like, oh, Lord. I haven't tried frozen yogurt in it yet, but I think that might be the next thing I try is doing a frozen yogurt. You need a link because you're sold. I've been preaching the gospel of this thing to everyone. <laughs> everyone that will listen to me. It's called a, a, a Ninja Creamy. C-R-E-A-M-I. It's really good. Really, really good. I actually saw it a couple of uh, European... Uh, I think they're from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anyways, I watched uh, them use it, try it out. And uh, I was like, that is really cool. I wonder if that's, you know, available here in America. So I looked it up, and sure enough, they sold it at Walmart. Like, <laughs> so I just went to Walmart and picked it up. And thankfully, it was like 60 bucks off at Walmart, too. So that was cool. Uh, C-R-E-A-M-I, creamy. It's spelled a little bit weird, but uh, but yeah. Anyways, it's it's really, really good, man. Like, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. Highly suggest the machine if you're into frozen treats. Because it is awesome <laughs> it is really really cool now at 170 dollars the 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 machine obviously isn't cheap don't get me wrong but uh it's it's i should just threw that into a material instead of throwing it literally throwing it away but anyways but it's still it, it's really really cool it makes awesome stuff and if you um if you are on a uh you know, like, I don't like to eat a lot of sugar. If you're a person like me that doesn't like to eat a lot of added sugars or something, this is a really cool way that I can get 
healthy sweet treats um because it's not like a juicer that gets rid of all the fiber or anything like that you know it's it's just everything that you put in it stays in it it just turns it into a silky smooth treat um so you're still getting all of the fiber all of the nutrients and everything that you would if you just ate a piece of uh or if you just ate a, an apple or a pineapple or or an orange or whatever you're still getting all of that goodness just in a, a cool different form you know <laughs> so like it, it's really cool i i really really like it i think it was worth it personally um but obviously everyone everyone's gonna be a little bit different on that anyways okay what else is there anything that we want to actually go and collect here it doesn't look like it uh so i guess we'll i mean we're gonna get the valentinian gold because why not we had to go up this way anyways and then just go fight the boss Oh, Nate suggested... I'm kind of surprised, actually. Nate's not here. I haven't uh, seen him in the stream today. Anyways, Nate suggested that I do, like, a lemon one. Um, specifically, he wants it. <laughs> he wants a lemon sorbet. Um, which, don't get me wrong, I do think it would be really good. But somebody at work suggested a, a lemonade, a strawberry lemonade one. And that, I think, is an even better idea, personally. Strawberry lemonade? That should be fire, man. Just takes uh, a bunch of, uh, just take a bunch of strawberries, chop off the the green bits on the top, and then just throw them down in the machine, and put enough lemonade in to cover it. Or if you want, you know, more lemonade type taste, you could uh, chop up some some lemons and throw down in there with the uh, with the strawberries, and then cover it in lemonade and mix it up. And oh boy, either way, I think would be fantastic. Also, is, is there a reason why it's taking so long to spawn enemies in? Monsters have arrived. Like, it's taking a long time in between. Wait, it seems like each wave is only one enemy. See, like, it just did it again. It's Oh, there's a boss. That's why. Where is the boss? There he is. Holy hell, dude. I, I felt like I was going crazy here. Like... <laughs> I've been I've been searching for this guy. But I couldn't fucking find him. Meet the Revenant. We fought him before, but like for whatever reason this time he just was not appearing, man. I was I was very confused. <laughs> oh god, we're frozen again. I hate the frozen thing. It is trash. Stop freezing me, you dick. Former wielders. Oh, really? That's a bit of a spoiler. I would had no idea that that's uh, that's what happened to the people that wielded the Bell Driver. Bell Driver? I don't. <laughs> Bell Driver. <laughs> Probably butchering that. I have no idea how that's pronounced. You have to get close to them for them to appear. Yeah, but I feel like I went around the entire map multiple times. I feel like I could be wrong on that, but it certainly felt like I did. Belda Reaver. Got it. Alchemy Mix Q. That's the quick row one that we've heard is really good for later on, so that's cool. Uh, but we need a troll molar. Have we ever collected a troll molar? I don't know if we have, man. Hey, welcome back, Hattie. Do the thing. Uh, what thing are we doing? I don't know what thing I have to do. Uh... Uh, jump. <laughs> Let's go into the next section. We have, what, one more level and then the boss? Should probably take our warming potion. Don't forget the warming potion. That's important. We need that. Uh, we still have some warming potion, right? Yes, okay, the one last use. I don't think we'll need it for the boss fight. I think the boss fights usually are free from the whatever status effect thing that the rest of the levels got going on. So we should be okay there. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. And we're dizzy. Good job. <laughs> uh, and we're frozen. Also good. Good. This is going well. This is going well. Yep, we're, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're, we're legit gonna die. Yep, that's okay. That, I... <laughs> I don't I don't know what we could have done differently there. 
That was a <laughs> get stun locked. Yeah, for real. Just get fucked, man. All right. Uh, take the warming potion. And then... I guess, like, before we worry about... Oh, fuck. We touched one of them. I was just trying to get away so that we could get a heal in real quick. We're gonna... We're gonna get frozen again. Oh, okay. We actually escaped. All right. Uh, I hate the idea of drinking a health potion right now, but, like, <laughs> just don't get hit. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. I can't... I, I can't argue with you because, I mean, you're right. <laughs> that would solve our problem. Oh, God. The fucking freeze dudes, man. God, they suck. All right. I mean, technically, I think if you drink a warmer potion while you're frozen, you'll be unfrozen. But, like, I don't want to waste a whole potion just for one status effect. I guess in the, the case where we were stunlocked like that, it would have been worth it, though. But, oh well. Nothing to do about it now. We made it through. Uh, material and what's that? Rosimile. So we can grow something real quick. What plants do we have? Do we have any grapes? Grapes are good. So have that baromet. We have two baromet seeds now. Do we grow one? Mm -hmm. Nah, we're. I guess. I guess we will, and then we'll just eat it right away. Although it's more of an HP thing than it is a experience thing with the. With the, with the sheep. So I don't know. I don't know which way is technically the best way to go about it. We'll probably just eat. Like if we have grapes or anything in our inventory. We'll go ahead and eat those to make room for it. And then we'll carry around the baromet. That's chicken, right? Yeah. Chicken has more recipes, I feel like, than the other ones do. Hype. Uh, oh, shit. Go back into the menu. I wish, like, things would still happen while you were in the menu. Obviously, like, things not happening while you're in the menu is a huge benefit while we're in combat. But the rest of the time, it's like, man, I just, I want my plants to grow. <laughs> uh, oh, is that a fire spirit? Okay, look, I was going to just, like, boost this more. But, like, um, the fire spirit potion thingy is actually really cool. So, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do that instead. And then we'll just dump some stuff into this, wherever it is, the grape stem. That's what I was looking for. If you like this character should be dead of hypothermia, yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> it's that it's that uh that fairy magic that she's got going on keeping her alive right now, man. That's it. Like <laughs> there's no other excuse here. It would take a very long time. Velvet comes here and she's wearing way less, yeah. Oh god. I, I hate how much health the sheep have. Like, it's ridiculous. Or the lamb. The lamb chop. Why why do you not die, sheep? <laughs> how are you more powerful than some enemies that I fight? It makes no sense. Alright, quick inventory sorting, and then we're going to go fight the boss. I will do a uh, save before we fight the boss in case we end up having to run away like babies, but, you know. Hopefully not. We have a lot of grape seeds too, don't we? Uh, that looks good enough. Okay. On to the boss fight, man. Or, on to save, and then the, the boss fight. Or like a mechanic where you need to drink something to stay warm. There is! There is one, actually. Um, it's a- there are warming potions that you have to drink or you take damage. Um, you, uh, you must have just missed it, because I did actually do that. At the beginning of every stage, you have to do that. So, yeah. Or a plant you could chew on from the Ranger's Apprentice books. Yes, yes, that too. Hey, Nate, you made it, man. We were actually just talking about you earlier, and you're, uh, you wanting me to make lemon sorbet. Because I, uh, on break, I blended up some pineapple sorbet that is beautiful. Oh, shit, dude. Thank you so much for the resub, Nate. I appreciate that, man. Wait, why does it say a regular sub and not a resub? Are you on a different account? One of your, like, 16 million? Oh, wait, no, there it... Okay, there it says subscribe for seven months. The pop-up said regular sub for some reason. Okay. <laughs> I know you don't actually have 16 million accounts. I'm just picking on you, man. Uh, Let's do a save real quick. 
case we have to run away from this next boss fight. I think we'll be okay, though. We dealt with the other two easily enough. <laughs> okay, I say easily enough, but that first one was actually really hard. <laughs> Fucking Belial, dude, kicked our ass. Like, not a good time. Not at all. This should be, yeah, this is where we're going. Also, if, if turnips make fire spirits, then I wouldn't mind collecting more turnips before we go if, if I have inventory space for it. So let me grab that. Okay. You've come to the conclusion to never question the story because you can't find a single video on YouTube explaining this game's story. Really? Like, I know this game doesn't seem to have gotten very much coverage, but, like, I'm surprised there's nothing. You know what I mean? Like, on Twitch, for instance, I know I'm, I'm generally the only person playing it at any time, but, like, the way that, like, Rue loves it and that Valkyrie, like, came and found uh, me after I started playing and whatnot, I assumed that more people had played it than, than it seems like there actually was. But I don't know, man. I guess it's like a cult classic sort of deal or something. Just a, just an unknown gem. Oh, your little cousin's birthday party. Well, happy birthday to your little cousin. Yeah, I'm not wearing any clothes. What do you expect? この裁判が見えないの。私が言っていることは真実よ。いいと He's very much not convinced. Yeah, I didn't figure it was going to end too well. Oh, so I don't know if you saw Valkyrie's uh, message, but, uh, or what Hattie had said before them. But, uh, there's apparently, like, no videos on YouTube explaining the lore of this game, so your time has come. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Okay, so when we're f on fire, I think it would actually make sense to touch the frozen people. Also, I didn't realize we can literally fly up. <laughs> I thought we could only fly down, so... Oh, I forgot this asshole did this. Can our piercing shot hit him, or is he too high in the air? I can't tell if that hit him or not, actually. Oh, shit, we're on fire. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> oh. GG, uh, okay. That's fine. Let's take, uh, we'll take some precautions this time. We'll take some painkiller before we get started. That should help a little bit. Um, and we could also take, do we still have ice spirits? Where, where is all my medicine? There's painkiller. How do you fly down? You press down. Uh, how do you fly up? You press up. <laughs> I just, I just had never tried it before, so I didn't, I didn't realize you could do that. Uh, no, we must have used all of our ice spirits. Okay, that's fine though. That's, that's fine. Piercing shot. Is this gonna hit him? No, it does not. Okay. What if? Okay, we can't like jump and do it, so that's, that sucks. And we're frozen. Oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> But no, like, I knew, obviously, that you could, like, uh, ah, oh, fuck, I was hoping to hit him while he was on the ground. I knew, like, obviously, you could move left and right and shit, right? Like, that was obvious. But what I didn't realize was that, uh, oh, I forgot that we can ride him, too. Um, I, I would like, I would like to heal, please. <laughs> Jesus, fuck game. <laughs> um, what I didn't realize is that you can, uh... You can fly up. That's it. That's the only part that I didn't realize. The rest of it, I the rest of it, I had. Oh my god! It is very hard to get on his head with with her. Like with Oswald, it was pretty easy to get on his head, right? Because all we had to do was um, jump, 
But with her, like, with the flying thing, we're constantly falling off of his head and shit. Um, okay, let's eat another lamb chop real quick. Or another bite of lamb chop real quick to get some health before we die. And then we might as well reload. I think, I think we got this one, though, to be honest. Like... I think, I think we can hit. Oh, that's fire. Uh, okay. Will piercing shot work? I can't tell if that actually hurt him or not. I'm assuming it did, but I'm not positive. Uh, I, I would rather not be sucked into that, please. And thank you. We're gonna die. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think... I think we might be dead. Oh, God. Oh, just in time. We got the heal just in time, dude. Um, oh, God damn it. <laughs> so many elemental spirits. Just go away. Oh, and now we're dead. Son of a bitch, dude. I hate this character. <laughs> like, I actually don't mind her as a character. God, she's rough to play as, man. Like, she's slow. The shooting mechanic works, but it's a lot harder to aim than a sword. Um, the reload thing can really fuck you over if it happens at the wrong time. Like, holy shit, dude. You feel like this is easy, but you just suck? I mean, that, that very well could be the case, too. Uh, <laughs> now, I know the other two people, Valkyrie and uh, Rubo, said they had struggled with it, too. But there's a pretty decent chance that we all just suck. That's that's a very real possibility that I can't deny. Why are you flying away? Fly the other direction. I want to I want to shoot you. Okay, well. We need to heal. Uh we'll eat some lamb chop, please, and thank you. Are you chicken or lamb? You're lamb. Good. And we're on fire. Excellent. I, I love me being on fire. Um, <laughs> just, it's fine. We'll just take another bite of the lamb chop. Screw it. Why not, right? And I was half expecting to be on fire again. Reload quickly, please. He's on the ground. Okay. Didn't have enough time to do anything with it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Well, I don't know what we just got hit by, but... I think our painkiller wore off. Do we have any painkiller left? No, it looks like we just had the one. So that's that's fine, though. Um, that's the chicken. We want the lamb. Can I... Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Don't freeze me. I can't attack them because I can't move. I, I mean, I'm out of ammo. Not that I can't move. I could move. <laughs> oh, shit. That, that fucking hurt. And we're dizzy. And now we're frozen. And we can't move while we're frozen. This is going well. <laughs> Please heal. Um, health potion. Health potion. I hate using health potion, but... Please, quickly. Thank you. No, oh, Jesus Christ. I want you to die. You're so much easier to fight when I was playing as Cornelius. Uh, oh, he's doing the sliding thing. Jump. Jump. Thank you. Get down. Piercing shot, please. Yes. Okay, that kind of hurt him. That's good. I, I'm pretty sure it won't hit you. I think you're too high for it to hit you from here. No, that hit. Okay, just keep doing piercing shot then, because piercing shot does actually some decent damage. I think he's dead. Wait, is he not dead? He's dead, okay. <laughs> Holy shit, thank God. <laughs> I am glad that is over. Don't <laughs> Is he, though? Is he actually in the netherworld? Did we defeat him that well? Uh, 
ドラゴン資料の足らぬお前のような小娘では到底女王など務まるまいだがその武器の力は本物だ黒い剣士を倒したのは信じよう He should be out by now. Of the Netherworld. Do not think it's over. Nobody. Well, I mean, if I'm not going to use it for evil, that doesn't leave much other choice, does it? Like. <laughs> To defeat the demon lord. No, that's fair, honestly. Odin's kind of a dick. So, when the world's destroyed, do the dragons get to live? Because at this point, I'm starting to think maybe that's for the best. <laughs> I see why everyone else wants the world to be destroyed. <laughs> how? How? How is the frog here and still alive? I thought it was bad for me, for Mercedes, you know? But a frog? Dude. Can't frogs, like, in real life, can't they, like, freeze solid and then thaw out the next uh, spring or whatever and be perfectly fine? At least some of them. I don't know if, like, all of them can, but isn't that a thing some of them can do? I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I think so. I think that's a thing that I've read. Why did Melvin send him to the netherworld? Some frogs can't do that. I thought so. If he can craft such wonderful weapons, why would Melvin not use him? Maybe, maybe, maybe he refused to help them out. To help Melvin out, and so that's why Melvin sent him down there. You'll see more in Oswald's story. Is Oswald the next one, or is it Valen Valentine? <laughs> and nearly went to hibernation into the underworld. There you go. They referenced that exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I'd rather die if it means not getting a kiss from you. <laughs> uh. Probably know a thing or two. Yes, how do you know this frog? No, do not. Do not pardon him. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You guys are stupid. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. There's a manga following Mercedes stories. Is there like just for her? Or is there manga following all of their stories? Because honestly, I feel like this would make a pretty good storyline for something like that. It's only in Japanese and French. French. Weird. <laughs> I guess maybe this game was uh popular in France then? More popular in France than, than other areas? It's called The Little Fairy Queen. Hmm. I might look it up. I have a couple books in Japanese. Why not get a... Or a couple manga, I mean, in Japanese. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Weird. Why? Oh, so we could find the secrets of the jewels. That makes sense. 
You think the rest were planned but never published? I'm assuming they didn't do amazingly if that's the case, especially since they weren't localized places outside of France, too. Like, I imagine if they had sold really well, they probably would have been brought, you know, to more countries. It seems like there's a surprising lot these days, though, that go to the netherworld without dying. Hello, dwarf. You translate, uh, translate to German because you don't speak French. Yeah, well, that's it's kind of nice that there is a French translation at least <clears throat> because it's a lot easier, in my opinion, to translate from French to English than it is Japanese to English. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, tools like Google Translate do a lot better job with French to English than they do with Asian languages to, to English. Um, so like that would probably be, that'd probably be cool. Like, cause you can use uh, like Google Lens or whatever it's called, hold it up to, and it could just do the translation for you right on the page there. It wouldn't be as nice to read as if it was just like, you know, in whatever language you read, but still. Just last year, yeah, that's not that long. With COVID and everything, I, there's definitely a possibility, I wanna say. The large bag is 75 gold. Man, do I buy it? Do I just, do I just buy it? Like, I, I'm tempted with this playthrough to try less of the recipe stuff, even though the recipes are good. Again, they're such a pain to actually make. I think I'm gonna buy the large bag, man. Fuck it. Yes, buy it. Okay. <laughs> Screw it. I'll spend, obviously, like, the regular stuff first. But we can always, like, grind for stuff if we end up needing to or whatever, too, though. So, screw it. I'm buying the large bag. Give it to me, baby. Inventory space for days, man. Not really, but, I mean, <laughs> it's a lot better than what we had. Uh, Okay, what do we... I have a level one. Let's mix them level ones with the bones that we have just to get them out of our inventory. I could sell them, but they're only worth what? Like one or two gold or whatever. So nah, fuck it. Just like, eh. They do. Translating Japanese was terrible, but French was easier. Yeah. As somebody that has studied both languages, in my opinion as well, it's just, it's a lot easier to go from French to English than uh, Japanese to English. Um, and in my experience using things like Google Translate as well, like French, from what I can tell, because I, I, I don't speak either one well, um, but going from, from French to English with tools like Google Translate seems to make a lot more sense than the sentences that you get from Google Translate in, uh, in Japanese. Like, who came up with the symbols for Asian languages? A sadist. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't really think of it like that way, because like... Okay, like kanji is a bit of, is, is a whole nother thing, right? Because there's like thousands of symbols. But I mean, like Egyptians use hieroglyphs, you know? Um, Asian, there's multiple different a Asian languages that, that use symbols instead of like an alphabet like what we have. Uh, Japanese is mostly centered around a syllabary. So it's actually, it's kind of similar to an alphabet. But, um, but each, each symbol is a syllable instead of like an individual letter that sounds out something. So it's not that much different from an alphabet though, honestly. Um, what really makes it hard to translate, in my opinion, is the fact that their sentence structure is completely different than, than English and uh, similar languages are. Um, like where they have their subject, nouns and verbs and things are in different places. And also the fact that a lot of times they don't specify subject if it's if if if, it, if a subject is implied they'll just admit it entirely which isn't common in america right like or in english or or as far as i'm aware in english in general but definitely in america like if i'm if i'm saying like you know uh like if me and my girlfriend are going somewhere i'd say like we are going somewhere um but like if if in japan though if you're with another person and you're seen walking together and then someone talks to you, you would just say like going to store or whatever. And 
you wouldn't say we, which just makes it a little more confusing. And then with groups of people, like whenever you're talking to someone or about someone, you might like reference them once and then the rest of the time just not use any sort of thing to say who you're talking about. It just makes it confusing. <laughs> like that's all. That's all. And I think that's what makes it much more difficult to translate. It's just, again, because their, their sentence structure is so much different. Um, like, hiragana is the, the native Japanese syllabary, and uh, it's not that hard to learn. It only took me a few weeks to, to be able to read hiragana um, almost entirely. Um, I've forgotten a lot of it at this point, but I, I like it doesn't take long. To, to figure that out. And then they have Katakana, which is a similar system to Hiragana, but used for uh, loan words from other countries, as well as uh, sometimes for emphasis and things like that. Um, but it's the same sort of thing as, uh, as Hiragana is, where there's only like, you know, like 28 different symbols or whatever. I forget the exact count. And then where it gets complicated is with Kanji, because Kanji, each symbol has like a specific meaning or whatever. And there are, in Japanese, there's roughly 2,000 of those that are commonly used, is what I've read. Um, and, like, those mostly came from uh, Chinese, from China, from Chinese uh, languages, Mandarin, whatever the other ones are. Um, and, like, yeah, that's where it gets starts to become difficult. They have something called furugana for, like, children and people that aren't good with kanji, where they'll actually take the kanji symbol and then right above it in hiragana um which was helpful for me whenever i was still studying it because that's pretty much the only way i could read it at all because <laughs> there was only there's only a few uh kanji symbols that i was able to recognize like a couple different numbers um the the one for water uh like th there's there was only a couple so thank god for furugana but but yeah it's it's a thing <laughs> Reminds you of a video you watched where they asked Japanese citizens where they wanted to visit, and one person said Egypt to ride a camel. That's cool. But the way the sentence was said, it could have also meant that she wanted to be a camel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I want to be a camel. Hell yeah, dude. Sometimes I want to be a camel, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even know what I mean, so I hope not. I feel like in the Western world, everyone should just learn Latin, should learn Latin. That would be a really cool language to know. Latin. I think it would be cool if there was a, uh, what's it called, like Esperado or something like that, was a language created to, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm reading a little bit here, um, Esperado, if I remember correctly, was a language created just for the, the express reason that it was meant to be easy to learn by as many people as possible in the world, so that it could be like a, a universal language. Not meant to replace anybody's language, but a language all people would be able to learn easily enough to communicate with each other. I think that sort of idea is really cool, too. Mercedes being an idiot example 7. Yeah, honestly, like... Latin is the root language of the Western world? Yeah, no, I, I, I get that, but... Latin's not necessarily the easiest one to learn, though. Um, and that's only for, you know, like English Germanic languages, whereas, uh, Esperanto was meant to encompass as many peoples as possible, which is helpful for us, for non-English Germanic people that want to be able to communicate. <laughs> and that's why I like the idea of like that. But again, totally think it'd be really cool to learn Latin just for, for the fact that it's also like, you know, a big base for, for the language that we speak. Um, not only English, but again, the English-Germanic family of languages. Latin sounds cool. This is true, too. This is true, too. <laughs> I love the videos comparing, uh, where they compare different languages to German. Honestly, are some of my favorites. Um, and I... I realize that a lot of times it's an exaggeration um but they'll have like like regular uh like something something word i i can't think of examples off the top of my head but they'll have like three different people say what a word is in their language and then you have a german person saying it and they just sound like super angry while they're doing it yeah 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 hospital uh hospitali and then kraken house <laughs> or uh 
uh, uh, ambulance was was one, right? You had like uh, ambulance, uh, um, ambulance. I don't remember how it's actually pronounced in any of the the other languages. And then you had uh, Kraken wagon, and it's just like, <laughs> but they say it in a way intentionally to sound uh, to sound angry, um, to play it up for the uh, to play it up for the uh, for the bit for the video, you know. And it's just it makes it it, it makes it funny. Crack, crack, cranking house, cranking wagon, crocking wagon. <laughs> Those videos are are hilarious. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm I'm positive they're playing it up for just for the video, but still, like it doesn't make it any less funny, you know. Fuck, that dude got us. That fight honestly wasn't that bad. I shouldn't have died to that one. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Rescue Matthew. Uh, what if I don't want to? What if I want Matthew to die? I'm joking. Who's Matthew again? <laughs> hmm. uh, he's about to jump, isn't he? Yep. Get fucked. Are you... Is that guarding? The dwarf? I thought it might be, but I couldn't remember for sure. Oh, fuck. Okay. So he can hit us when we're in the air still. Even When he's jumping, he can hit us in the air. That's good to know. I'll have to remember that. Let's take a health potion real quick before we die. We do need to spend some time at some point focusing a little bit on leveling up our health, though. Like, even if I'm not going to make it a priority with her, I, uh, I think we do need to do a little bit of that at least because, yeah... We are hurting either that or we're going to have to make a lot more painkiller potions. One or the other. Uh, he's... Oh, God. I thought he was jumping. Kill the eyeballs. Kill the beholders. It's so weird that they give her, of all people, the gun. Like, <laughs> it's just... Like, she seems... Like, she's, she's meant to... It seems like she's meant to be, like, this cute little... Uh, innocent type of character and then she's running around with a fucking gun like a fully automatic rifle essentially and it's just like it's it's a weird disconnect it's it feels like man potion me please daddy thank you okay we sh oh shit we're out of oh that was close we're out of ammo reload please and then we should be able to hopefully Okay, if we didn't run right into his uh, attack there, at least. Okay. Heal again. I hate using all these fucking potions, man. It feels bad. Uh, especially since we don't have, like, very many carrots left. We're definitely going to have to farm more carrots at some point, too. That's, that's for sure. She has no physical strength, so it makes sense that she's got a gun. Yeah, yeah, I can see. I can see where you're coming from there. Come on, he's dead. Just just hit him, for fuck's sakes. He's dead. Thank you. Thank fuck. You know what I should have done there? Instead of absorbing all that? Uh, grew some fucking grapes or something to try to level up my health a little bit more? That would have been smart, but oh well, too late now. Really? Get, get, getting dizzy here? We can use the foes on release thing and probably grow some grapes real quick. Absorb whatever's on the map and then release release more to grow the rest of the way. We should be able to release more than enough to get grapes to grow. I think it's only, what, 12 for a grape? That's not that bad. Uh, I think we need to do one more release, maybe? Yeah, there we go. That should be enough. Dope. I will take the grapes, please, sir. The dog is pissed, the lights on, and wants to sleep. Well, good news, kind of, uh, for the dog. And for anyone that's just bored of listening to me. When did the habanero start catching people on fire, man? <laughs> I don't remember that being a thing. Holy hell. Anyways, good news for the dog and anyone who's tired of uh, listening to me go on and on in this game here. That's actually it for the night. We got a little bit of a cliffhanger, I guess, starting off the next chapter with her. But... We're gonna have to call it there, man. 
our time is up for today. Uh, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me, though. I do appreciate you all. Nate, Valkyrie, Rue, uh, Noodle, Hattie, of course. Psycho, if you're still around. Anybody that's lurking or who I forgot. Silence, silence. Thank you. Uh, anybody who's just lurking or whatever. Thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate you all. Tomorrow is Sunday. I should be hopefully doing the uh, Just One More Level podcast with my buddy Dorseman tomorrow. We'll be talking about, if we do do it, we'll be talking about this game, Odin Sphere, of course, as well as Dark Cloud, uh, both to uh, both PS2 games that we'll be that we'll be covering. Uh, we usually have a fun time with that. We just talk about video games for a couple hours and record them to to release on you know all the podcast places and YouTube and shit like that. Um, and then after that, we'll be back to our normal schedule. Well, with that said. Uh, Tuesday night will go on as normal, but Wednesday night, or I'm sorry, Thursday night, I will be out of town. I won't be here, so I won't be able to do that stream. So we'll be missing that one this week, sadly. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the news that I had for what's going on this week. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. I appreciate you all. Uh, just remember to be nice, be kind to each other, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye a game. What's this? Let's go.